Well, we are back. Look at this. We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, special guest. Epic. Of the day. I feel like we should have shot the show in 4K. Uh, 4K, huh? <laughs> Ty Evans. He's got a new video that just dropped today, actually. Today. Oh, flat on. Earth. Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Are you a big Flat Earth uh, conspiracy? <laughs> that, that's been, that's been the, the number one question. We got to start this off. I know absolutely nothing about that you don't, stuff. You don't know any... Just putting it out there. <laughs> no, no, no Flat Earth or... Well, I mean, like, we'll, we'll get into the whole Flat Earth video and everything, but uh, what, what was a... For, real quick, what was a... What was the meaning behind Flat Earth, the name and everything? Where'd you come up with that? So, I mean, a couple of things. It was like, when we were making the film, it was like, let's use some new cameras, let's do some stuff. And we ended up using a bunch of 360 cameras. Oh yeah. And when I brought it in the computer, I realized that you could like manipulate the image and make a little planet, flatten it out, spin it around, and oh. spin the camera around and do a bunch of stuff. And okay. I, and before that, I was like, okay, well, what are we gonna call the video? And we had a bunch of different names. And I think one of them that kept sticking was acid in the mirror. Acid in the mirror. <laughs> Because it's like, obviously, you don't want to look in the mirror while you're doing acid, so. So we've heard? I've never tried yeah, it. I, I, I wouldn't know yeah. either. <laughs> but I don't know. We weren't feeling that name. And no. then I remember, like, when I was a kid, there was a Thomas Dolby album called The Flat Earth. Mm. I was a huge Thomas Dolby fan. And okay. A lot of the videos I've done have been derived from albums. Mm. Mo Modus operandi, I believe it was from, like, a Fotec album. Oh, Fotec. Yeah, you a big Fotec I, fan, I, Roberts? I, I'm huge Fotec. No, I, <laughs> you probably, I probably are by doing so much time in Shotgun with me, so. <laughs> and, uh, and not you even, don't know not it. Not even realizing <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. For sure. But anyways, it was like, okay, well, let's figure out a name that's cool. Yeah. And so it was like, you know, oxymoron. It's, it's a, like Led Zeppelin. It's not yeah. possible. Right. Flat okay. Earth. And we didn't have any fish eyes for the film. It nope. was all rectilinear, straight lines. Mm -hmm. Oh. But the 360 cameras do have fish eyes, so I guess we do have fish eyes. Okay. But, but even when you're filming lines in the video, they're uh, they're not no fish, fish eye. eye. Yeah, no. it's just like super wide angle lines. Super wide angle. Super wide angle. Super wide angle. <laughs> well, we had a uh, we had a private screening today. It was pretty uh, pretty epic. It was you know, very for epic. the release. Well, it's coming out tonight at uh, at nine nine p.m. Right, uh, ca California time. Comes out tonight at midnight. East Coast. East Coast. So yep. 9 p.m. here. Yep. But you guys were the first ones to see it. We were first first ones. We had to go to and, the to watch it. Yeah. And you know what's crazy is it was the first time I sat with people to watch it. Right. So exactly. I'm like, okay, are these guys going to laugh here? Are they stoked on these tricks? Like Kelly was reacting. Yeah, I was dude, like, holy this shit. Is, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting next to this dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, everyone's going to be doing that when they watch this. Yeah. Movie, dude. No, it's amazing. it is. There's some... It's, <laughs> The scale. Well, we'll get into all of it. Don't fuck your head up. Fucking insane. Yeah. it's insane. Was it like doing acid, looking in the mirror? I think so. <laughs> Was I, the Earth flat? I've no. I believe it's flat. I do believe it's flat. Are you Earther? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a. I'm a. I'm a round Earther. I think it's. <laughs> I think it's round. <laughs> you know what's crazy though is I've got so many people reached out to me like I can't believe you called it that and I'm just like, dude, it's a name. Right. Yeah. But did you get have anything it. idea about what was that flat earth thing was going on at that time? Yeah, I did. But this is what's crazy is I wrote it on my grip tape, posted it on social media. And then a couple weeks later, someone mentioned something about Vinny coming on here talking mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's super random. Right. And then a little bit later, you see something like, I think it was like a flat earth convention. Mm -hmm. I don't know oh, what's and going there, on. There's the rocket man. And then there's man, like the dude the with fucking, the rocket. Yeah, yeah. And then we're on tour. <laughs> filming for the final trip and someone comes up to me he's like hey man are you flat earther and i was just like no he's like oh my my mom wanted to know she's an earther and it's like <laughs> and, dude and i'm like going back like dude this thing has been around for so long like the first time i ever heard about again was the thomas dolby album right that's like from like 80 something and it's so weird how like things like that happen where all of a sudden boom it's just there it's, just, it's there right if the earth is flat mm -hmm. people that really think it's flat how does it work I'm not really sure. Because I want to go to the edge and go off that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. We've all been on planes and gone around the yeah. earth. Oh, for sure. Leave all LA, go to Japan. But, yeah. oh, you're not going over the North Pole. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. Well, let's talk about the uh, early life of uh, Ty Evans. Because this guy, let me tell you something, Kelly. Uh, this guy... How many videos have you done? Like 30 something videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too many. That's that's mind blowing to me. Yeah. Now there's not that many, I, there's not that many people that do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 30 fucking videos. It's interesting. Jesus. You know, I was thinking about the other day and there's like 
all the guys that made skate videos that I looked up to before me mm -hmm. and the same time and after, and I'm like, whoa, I've actually been doing it pretty damn long. I wonder how long I've been doing it, how many videos I made and what's, what's the ranking of it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you know what's crazy is I think now a lot of the guys consider like, a five minute thing they did for a web of video. So, yeah. oh, I've done 150 videos. There you go. Yeah. Like, okay, but you've done like <laughs> full multi year full length projects yeah. compared to that. But yeah. it's funny that whole dynamics changed. We've done 74 videos. See, you guys <laughs> yeah. already got me. Yeah, so 75 now. Yeah, yeah. 75. Yeah. You guys got me. I mean, grow, you grew up in um, in like the valley area. No, um, a little bit outside the valley. Like, see me? No, not see me valley. So I was born in Thousand Oaks. Okay, Thousand and then Oaks. lived in Thousand Oaks. Lived in Camarillo, and oh, then was wow. always around Thousand Oaks, Camarillo, Simi Valley, Moore Park. Uh, my family had a business out in Simi Valley. I went to school out in Simi for oh. a couple of years, and then I would end up going to that business after school, and I was a little derelict, just third grade, jumping in dumpsters. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I first saw skateboarding. Oh. How, in, how? in the parking lot, I looked over and saw like a full on, remember when they build quarter pipes when they didn't have the side template with yeah. plywood where it was like, Two by four, mm. two by four, two by four, two mm. by four. It was one of those, and they were riding like banana boards. Did you get a board shortly after that? Pretty close. Yeah. yeah. I got a, I had a 70s surfer board where it said surfer, and it was like this wide. What was that three inches or something? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty yeah. small. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. tiny. They had a bunch of photos of surfers on it, and that was my first board. Wow. Surfer. Well, do you remember like your first real setup? So the first real setup was a Rob Roscoff Santa Cruz. Oh. With the one arm. Breaking through the through, bolt, yeah. bullseye? I don't know what the year was. Where did you get that board? Val Surf sure. or something? I think I traded a friend for it. Yeah? Maybe like an alien toy or something. I don't know. Alien toy. No, I kept the alien toy. It's you in got... Chomp. It's that little guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the little... <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't the alien toy. Maybe I traded him something else. Did you, you grow up skating half pipes or... Yeah, you because well, you rip it, ha you rip it both, no. and you can just all, I, all terrain. It was here. weird. Where I lived was very, we'll say, rural, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of ditches. Oh, okay, and so I grew up skating ditches, oh. which is very random. Okay, and so we would haul things into the ditches, tree stumps, parking blocks, bricks, anything. Really. <laughs> that was right. our coping. And what was your? Were you guys watching skate videos? What yeah, was, uh... the first skate video i saw was future primitive oh future primitive i think that came out in 85 and that was like i mean there's pretty pivotal moments mm -hmm. i mean we all have them in skating that you yeah. full-on remember okay that was like a moment in your life that affected you in skateboarding and that for sure was the one where i was like whoa really <laughs> this is skateboarding this is insane i want to do this you want to do it or you want to make videos or did the, mm, the making no, videos back come then later? it was just skating just skating just skating right. yeah mm -hmm. i think that you know wanting to make the videos and everything that came a little bit later a couple of years later because there oh. was future primitive and then after that was animal chin uh -huh. and then after that was public domain and that was the video i think i was like freshman high school when that came out okay. and that was the video that had that black and white rubber boys section mm -hmm. with ray barbie uh, McRad song. Do you remember that segment? Yeah. You don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, <I> remember it <laughs> you know it. I know it, yeah. But that was like the first time where I was like, okay, music with insane visuals mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. felt like skateboarding. I mean, don't get me wrong, all those other videos had it, but not like that yeah. hmm. Rubber Boys section. That was insane. And did you have a camera at that time too? I had got my hands on one. There was a VHS class at high school. Okay. And I got that thing. You got it. <laughs> and I remember sliding it. The big, it. The yeah, big, the big the, boy the with, shoulder with cam? the cable and like the VHS deck you attached wear, like, to the it. backpack? Yeah. Wait a minute. You had to wait. It wasn't you, no, the shoulder. No, not even where. You would have two people. Yeah. So you would have someone oh, holding what? the VHS deck. There's a cable a coming out of it. that to the camera. And dude, I remember we were filming on my buddy's mini ramp and sliding that thing down the tranny and it did not do too hot. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Wait, what happened to just the normal VHS camera I think they probably the had them around them, but it's whatever weird. that was what we had access <laughs> this to. This guy, man. he's always, he's, he had a crew even back then. <laughs> 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 Wait, so back up. 
when you're filming and all this stuff, were, were you trying to get sponsored too? No. No. I always skated for fun and okay. any of that stuff, like if anything was like flow. Yeah. You know, but I was never like Mr. Sponsored Skater guy. Who are you, who are you flowed by? I don't know, skate shops. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Powell Peralta. But, I mean, all that stuff was just like being friends with people. I was mm -hmm. never like, I'm on the team and going for it. And right. I remember I ended up like on a tour for Powell with Cab, and I was just like, what am I doing here? <laughs> and I remember we, we didn't have a camera, and Cab bought a camera, and I was like, oh, I'm going to film. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. How were you? How did you get on? What is, how'd you get on this tour? What was this? Well, we got a backup then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. If you're on a tour with Cab. So, grew up in that area I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, once I graduated high school, mm -hmm. I moved up to Santa Barbara. Oh. Was going to City College. Okay. Working, just being a derelict, yeah. skateboarding every day. And then Powell had the skate zone there. Oh, the Powell skate zone, right. Did you ever go there? I did. Insane, that was the right? only park that we had around this area. We'd have to drive up to Santa far. Barbara. Two yeah. hours, yeah. Damn. You bro. know what's crazy is I still have dreams of like skating in there. Wow. Like at, the not even maybe skating, just scenarios inside there. I don't even <laughs> remember them like changing it. Like yeah, it, it was, was awesome. always the same It was park the best part. Forever. That huge yeah. waterfall oh, yeah. and then the giant pyramid, the giant wall. I was always scared to go down that waterfall, <laughs> man. Yeah. That was the best part, yeah. man. <laughs> it looks like. But no, I, I went up there and skated and through skating there ended up meeting a bunch of people oh. um became buddies with jeff taylor he was riding for pal oh, and, and then yeah got oh. some boards and but i was never like trying to go for it i'm turning bro. like yeah. like i'll take some boards and skate yeah but i don't think i ever had the full pro dream no and plus, i read my acl i think when i was 17 or something oh, like you did. super yeah. young and that oh. was like up until that point, skating was insane because it's like you're learning tricks and progressing all that stuff, and then just boom, done. Did you get surgery? Get camera, get I did. You, did get, you got all that. But I didn't get it reattached. I got like my meniscus cleaned, and I think they put me in like a full leg cast for like almost two months. And... Well, no, I've seen you do the little knee thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it does this weird knee thing. Oh, you, you can yeah. move it back and forth. I can do forth. both. Right, Dude. both knees now. Yeah, because remember when we went to the Zero premiere? Uh-huh uh was it misled youth or dying to live okay we skated bob's ramp on the way down and then i did my left one. Oh, oh jesus and i was like okay all right, now Dude. i have two acls that's one. fucked wow never got them fixed He's still the right now yeah they're both dunzo oh my god dude. so you shot chop with uh, <laughs> no knees pretty much yeah <laughs> that's why we were skating curbs <laughs> <laughs> that's gnarly. But, but up until that point skating was like fun mm -hmm. you know and it's like I think that's what it's all about is like especially seeing these videos the magazines and like I want to do that yeah. and then doing that like holy shit like I don't know like learning lean details or a stale fish or anything like that was like the best thing ever and it's interesting because my body now is so thrash but I would never trade any of those moments and memories that I experienced up until that point mm -hmm. for like having good ACLs now or a good ankle yeah. like that's just what was in the cards and I'm so stoked that i was even able to like oh yeah skate and do that for sure and that's what's great about filming is you can still Be get that feeling when you're out skating with dudes mm -hmm. dude totally you know? totally but i remember when we were doing pretty sweet you were like you were like this is the last video i'm doing that like, was this crazy. is a last skate video like i think you had, had ankle surgery at the time that was a something. dark it was like dark was dark it? Yeah, it was, never time. was it really you that could, was a dark time you were done and then yeah, there was a lot of factors later now. that was a lot of factors at that okay. point okay okay but yeah the ankle was that was dude i just had a kid yeah and i couldn't even like run with my kid or like try to teach him to ride a bike it yeah. was like heavy i was in a wheelchair three surgeries Jeez. I remember hopping fences with the wheelchair oh, wow. and just no way i would dude. i think i would bad. help you it was pretty funny yeah crazy it was funny for you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was interesting i think at that point in my life i was almost ready to give up this whole thing yeah and then after the third surgery and i started taking care of myself mm, oh. better health everything else and everything started getting a little bit better and i started getting out of that dark place yeah. and and I was like, ah, I think I could keep doing this, and then no more Red Bulls and Jews. No, no more Red Bulls and Jews. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Red Bull, though, the Red Bull comes and goes. Okay, you know? it's, it's in waves. Yeah. Did you hurt all the like get all the injuries from skating, or is it just from? Well, the two knees obviously was from knee sliding. 
Mm-hmm. Oh shit! You know okay. what's crazy? You know how the kids today do the butt slide? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, have, I do not understand how that works. <laughs> My brain is so wired to knee slide yeah. from back in the day, and I remember even like when I was learning to street skate that I would like bail a kickflip and knee slide. Oh my god! So on bad. the ground? Yeah. yeah. Well, like at the Pal Skate Zone. Oh yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. With no pads. You just slide though, right? But even yeah, my brain was so wired. <laughs> if I skated a vert ramp, I would still without pads. I would go to knee oh. slide without pads and be like, oh shit, you don't have them on, and then like yeah. <laughs> but no it was like yeah all from skating and then the ankle i would always i've ripped the ligaments in my ankle when i was like probably around the same time around 17 mm-hmm. and then when you're a kid you never you're not gonna go get an mri and see if the ligaments are ripped you're no. like oh it's puffy it's yeah, like folded it it, yeah. it, it, it's black and blue it i'm gonna ice ice it and yeah. it'll be better but what you don't realize is you rip ligaments and those ligaments are holding your ankle together and three months later you fold it again because there's no ligaments holding it together and then yeah. i did that 20 times Jeez. and then in your late 30s it starts hurting out of the blue and you haven't rolled it in like a year and you're like why is it hurting and it's because you folded it so many times and worn away the cartilage in there and you have a hole in your cartilage that's it. Yeah. God. And it, the day we went to Raging Waters, remember when Vincent bombed Raging Waters? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was the day I felt it in my ankle. I remember w- trying to skate and I was like, whoa, I can't even skate. This feels weird. And walking up that water slide it had like excruciating like voodoo doll pin in my oh, ankle. Wow. And I was like, this is so weird. And I was like, oh, it'll go away. It never went away. And then got the, got the, got the MRI and saw, okay, it was ripped. You have... A lesion inside of your joint and oh you get it fixed God. and then surgery after surgery wheelchair <laughs> falling off a ladder on my face dude <laughs> we're wearing, wearing, wearing a boot fuck? we're wearing a boot right yep oh and i broke the boot it was you- one of the metal ones you know they have the plastic ones it was the metal one and i just <laughs> tacoed it <laughs> and i laid it on my face and then see the scar right here yeah uh, on your eyebrow yeah yeah that was from landing. I had on sunglasses and they split and I <laughs> landed on my face and it just God, obliterated dude. all that. Wearing sunglasses and a boot, climbing a ladder, going <laughs> under the roof of yeah. your house. <laughs> okay. But the ladder was when we were doing the using the ladders shots. for dollies. And so the ladder was one of those sliding ladders and I took it apart. Mm. And the part with the feet, I threw away like, oh, I'll never need that. The, the rubber feet. Yeah, because yeah. that'll that'll make the ladder up high and your your dolly won't be level. Okay. So I, th- oh. I I took a sawzall, cut that in half, and threw that piece in the trash, so it fit in the trash. <laughs> oh my so gosh. the ladder slid on the ground. So then the ladder's metal on concrete in my backyard. I'm trying to get on the roof, and it's just like hard plastic on the ground, dude. I don't know what I was thinking. I climb up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And my kid, he was like maybe three years old at that point was just standing there and he saw it happen just start bawling oh, like, I, bet. <laughs> I, bet. I have blood coming out oh sunglasses got, are busted sunglasses boots, there's glass in dude, half. there's glass in this thing i think there's still something in here i can feel can it feel it wow <laughs> so i go get it stitched up cleaned the next day i come out and I remember I was like going out into the garage. I'm hobbling out there with my crutches <laughs> and the ladder from the dolly sitting in the garage. And it has one of those stickers with like the guy all looking sketchy on it with, oh, the, yeah. with the no sign. And it was like when my kid was just learning to like put sentences together. Right. And he's like, dad, do you know what that says? I was like, what? He's like, dead at fall. <laughs> <laughs> it was so dope. So let's go back. So you're growing up in... Um... Santa with your Bar- uh, Santa Barbara. yeah Santa Barbara yeah Paul skate Living zone is, I mean yeah you've got the uh, the camera with the 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 backpack yeah. with the VHS tape yeah. the whole kit Ghostbusters kind of reminds yeah. me of Ghostbusters yeah. 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 ectoplasm yeah. yeah so now you're starting to film oh you went on tour with uh, the cab and the Powell yeah. dudes right and that was that your first time like trying to film no like, a- I mean living up in Santa Barbara there was like dudes there that ripped there was okay. cameras around I remember I bought like a Super 8 camera at a thrift store. Oh. Filmed some guys, and then the local shop, Church of Skating, mm-hmm. needed footage for that. And then I was getting boards from Pal. I don't think I was officially on the team. Maybe mm-hmm. I think there was like a like a team ad that had my name on it. Oh. I was just like, dude, what am I doing? On this thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the whiteout? <laughs> Get this dude off of here. But um, I think at that point, I was still like into filming. But I still wasn't like, okay, this is like what I want to do. Mm. And I was just like working jobs. I had an apartment up there. Okay. 
and I was skating every day. And then my buddy was like, hey, I got tickets to the new Plan B video premiere. Do you want to go? Virtual reality. Virtual reality, okay. And I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah. And so I remember going down there. It was at La Jolla Scripps <clears throat> Auditorium. Mm. And walking in, I had my piece of paper. And the dude working the door, letting everyone in, was Jake Rosenberg. <laughs> oh, shit. no way! Yeah, <laughs> and I knew who he was. I I always kept track of who was who in skating and did okay. what. Did you see him at like the, um, Powell? Yep, I'd seen Jake there. I'd seen him at Back to the City. I mean, you, skating was so small back yeah. then. You knew who everyone was, even though, and it's so crazy. Like no one really knew me, but like. Jake, when I met him years later and became a good friend, he was pulling out photos from back of the city. And I was like, yep, I'm in the background right here. And he's like, yeah, right. And I'm like, nope, that's me. He's like, holy shit. And Whoa. he found all these photos of like me that he had from back of the city. Jake's really good at digging stuff. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jake rules. He's got yeah. it. It's <laughs> crazy, sure. right? But I think that's what's so crazy is walking in there, handing him my ticket, sitting down. And that was the first real, real skate video premiere I went to. Mm. And that's the, a good the one. Three, <laughs> the three screen intro. Yeah. Mike Ternowski presenting the video. Wow. Just, I don't know, man. That was that was when I was like, okay, I want to do this. Yeah. I don't know if I could even do something like that. That was insane, but I want to do that. Uh, and that was like the real, all right, let's go. And so you were all in. So went back to Santa Barbara. I had a job, uh, apartment, the whole deal, and I just dipped. Dipped to where? San Diego. You went down to San Diego. Yeah. So Jeff Taylor, he always helped me with everything. Oh, and sick. he was skating for Earth mm -hmm. and they were starting to film a video. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, if I come down, can I like help film? Like, I really want to do this filming thing. And he was like, yeah, you can come down. Like, you're just, like, I just have like, my camera already. No, I, I didn't have a camera. To help me with it. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't have the VHS Nothing. camera anymore. Okay. <laughs> Zero. When you met Jeff, was he working for Shorties? No, not yet. Mm -mm. So he was staying, I think. Jeff was staying on Jason King's couch. Mm -hmm. Jason King had an apartment under his name. Being. And there was like Shani and Richard were, were his roommates. <laughs> and then Jeff was staying there. And then Jeff brought me down. And we we're just like, who is this dude? Like, <laughs> we don't have room for this guy. So Jeff and I ended up getting a place. Mm -hmm. And then Jeff introduced me to Chris Miller and Felix. They had a camera. And then... I would work at Earth sometimes and just do whatever else and okay. eat Top Ramen, sleep on the couch. And if there was a camera, I would film the dudes and slowly start working it out. Were you living with him when he was living with Barra? No, no, no. That was, uh, I lived with him before that. All right. And then later. But yeah, it was like going down there, Top Ramen, sleeping on the couch, working at Earth, like everything. And so then grabbing a camera and just sort of figuring it out. And they were finishing that video hiatus mm -hmm. at the oh, time. Yeah, okay. And that was right when nonlinear editing was starting in Adobe Premiere. And what does nonlinear editing mean? It's before you had tape to tape, tape machine. Oh, where you would go okay. from two machines yeah. versus digitizing it, which is what we're doing today gotcha. yeah. and okay. bring it to the computer and you have a digital file and manipulate it right. in a timeline. And I remember Chris Miller asking me, like, do you know how to edit? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, fully just, like, <laughs> fake VCR, it till you VCR? make it. Yeah. <laughs> but had you edited with two VCRs? You had. Of, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Right. You're At like, yeah, point. give me two VCRs. I'm yeah, good. Same like, thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, pause. Felix, Miller, Jeff were the reason I was able to even just pursue it. Wow. And I'm so grateful for those guys. And what, 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 what system were they using to edit that video? Adobe Premiere. Oh, they were using Adobe Premiere. Yeah. Oh. But back then, it wasn't, it wasn't C. Holy creative. shit. <laughs> it wasn't creative you cloud, that, right? You think that spinning rainbow ball sucks now. <laughs> what? Try it in 1994. Oh, oh, shit. Maybe it was even 93. So you would bring your clips in. You would move them around in your timeline. Okay. In order to play it. You had to hit the fucking space bar and go to In and Out and grab a burger and come back and then it'll play. <laughs> you had to render it all. Oh, you had to render it before. Each yeah. clip, mm -hmm. each little. Just one like clip. if you have clips in the timeline, you had to hit. It would make preview files. Mm -hmm. You would hit the space bar, and then I remember it wasn't the spinning rainbow. It was like a, like a film strip oh. reel. I don't know yeah. what it was. Some weird <laughs> circular thing, and it would spin and it would take forever, and then it would finally play and you could watch it. Now if you did a cross dissolve 
<laughs> or like you put a title or a slow mo, and the slow mos <laughs> look so jacked. Like you better go get like breakfast and lunch, then come back. <laughs> How frustrating is that to try to edit a video? Oh my god! Like it's a, it's so funny because the dudes there are like, oh, this damn rainbow. And I'm like, dude, you have no you clue. Have no clue. Yeah. You yeah. have no clue. Was that on a PC? It wasn't on a Mac. It was right. a Mac. It was, it was a quad. It was a Quadra 840 AV, and it was probably V1 of Premiere, maybe V2. And I remember After Effects had just came out, and I remember trying to open it and just like, whoa, close. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Go in there. Yeah. What was before that, Raj? Media 100 or something, or what was? No, the... it was basically Media 100 came after. Deck to deck. Oh, Media 100. Yeah, it was came deck after. to deck. So yeah. the very first video stuff back then, I don't know the very first but was like video toaster mm -hmm. toaster was like one of the first i think that's oh. what tony did the birdhouse video on oh wow it was like super simple too and then premiere was the one premiere because you could one. have a apple computer loaded on there uh. but it was fun it was fun learning that stuff and it was like challenging and that goes back to today and making films still it's yeah. like having that challenge it's it's a math problem how yeah. do you figure out how to solve that math problem you can we all know everyone can do math different ways i count on my fingers yeah yeah <laughs> i bring up my phone <laughs> yeah but it because I, I remember it was like it was like premiere came out and then it was like final cut everybody switched to final and then everybody seemed to switch back to premiere like media 100 then but that kind of media 100 felt like it was just in skating i never there was other people that yeah. used it outside of it but it was like in skating it was like premiere was it was like Tape I'm surprised to tape, no one ever went premiere. Avid. Yeah, no one really fucked with that. It was like tape to tape, then premiere, mm -hmm. the media 100. And the reason why everyone switched over to media 100 was that the slow motions morphed frames between the existing frames, and it looked a lot smoother, smoother yeah. like the OG slow mo stuff from the mm -hmm. tape to tape from back in the day. So everyone switched to that, but then it didn't have audio, and you'd have to like figure out how to slow down the audio and like. Remember, there's a program called Sound Edit 16. <laughs> And you would hit that to 50% and then drag it in and find the tail click and butt it up. <laughs> Is that how you made the slow motion? <laughs> that was all, all, all in-tape though, wasn't it? It was. It was all... You had the a variable ones still were the OG tape to tape. Yeah. yeah. That we would put on beta decks and then do it from beta you're, you're SP to hand. beta SP with a jog. I lost you at hello. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, we could go deep. Yeah, no, we could right. go deep. Yeah. No, I mean I do know a little bit about. You know it. Is there anything better than Premiere? Anything better? Yeah. I mean, it all—it's all just tools. What do and movie what you people? Like. What do we? If they're gonna edit Jumanji, the new a movie lot of people with, use Premiere. You know, Premier, Premier, you can Premier, use yeah. Avids. I feel like Avids are getting a little faded out. And huh. Premiere seems to be the go-to. For everyone I've talked to, they're on Premiere, man. Really? Yeah. So they're they're editing big movies on Premiere. Sure. And the Nine Club. And the Nine Club. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Premiere Creative Cloud. Yep. So uh, where were we? Where were we? Plan B Premiere. Plan B Premiere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You're at the Plan B Premiere, and you you're you Have wanted mind blown. You mind? Yeah. You wanted to do this. You wanted to edit the video. So you went down to San Diego. Yeah. And then they were finishing hiatus. Once hiatus was done, they were like, all right, we need to make a Planet Earth video. And that was when I was like, okay, I want to do this. Silver? Silver. And that was your, Where and you it? made that. Here? That guy. We got it. Yeah. yeah. There's Lambert. Who did the first pla uh, Planet Earth video that you helped on? The first one, the hiatus? The hiatus? Yeah. That was like Felix. Oh, Felix were, okay. and the other guys, his buddy Mark Gamez. Um, it was mostly Felix. When Silver came around, that was yours. Yeah. yeah. That, that was my film school. Okay. I, I had grabbed a 16 millimeter camera actually i won't say i grabbed i lived in san diego i ended up coming up here to la went to a camera shop i found this book called the 16 millimeter handbook i still have this book sat there and read it from beginning to end and figured out which film camera i wanted to get wow. and got a bolex got the film and then i got a lens c-mount lens and then just started shooting that was it no light meter how did you know? Just, what you, just you eyeballing. Just, yeah. I was doing the math by the film speed and the frames and the aperture. But these dudes were doing tricks, right? And weren't you like... Oh, no, they're walking I down railroad tracks. Fuck this yeah. up. Or, <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> no, because I did film skating with it too. Yeah. But, but, it, but you didn't know It was my gonna... film school. It was yeah. just learning. I, I would like... I even... I think the first roll, I set it to F16. Then I wrote F16 on a piece of paper and was outdoors, filmed the piece of paper. Okay. Then I set it to F11, did the same thing, 5.6. When you got it back, eight. you would know. The, yeah. And then I would look and be like, oh, it looks like a F11 day. 
And then I got a light meter like two years later. Oh, damn. What was today? Was today an F? Uh, what kind of Today day was day? like an F11. F11? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, if, we got, if we had a 50 ASA. <laughs> oh, yeah? But if you push the film, then maybe 16. So you're filming, so you filmed Silver. Yeah. That was the first... Whereas was everybody hyped on it? I mean, what was the oh, reaction? I would think so. Yeah. Some of the guys were just over it. Some of the guys were super like, into it. I think like any project, you're going to have dudes that are like okay. new, green, super psyched to be a part. And right. then the other dudes that have done a couple of video parts and like, oh shit, here we go. Here what we go. was it like staying with Caesar? Caesar ruled. <laughs> Caesar seeing <laughs> was, sick. One of was the, the raddest dude. Mm-hmm. Super cool. Like good friend. I would go stay with him, hang out. Awesome dude. Aside from skating, I love that dude. We'd go stay at his house all the time. He lived in Long Beach. I would take the train up from San Diego, film him, and then his skating, God, he was so fucking good, man. Smooth. Wow. Switch tray flips upstairs and shit. Like, back to an Aiden Ollie, fake you 5-0. Yeah. Like, what, have, what you ever seen, have you ever seen his video parts? Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. He's so yeah, good, Yeah, he was man. smooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So where, where, where did you go from um, Planet Earth? Silver was like the first video and that was like my film school and mm-hmm. it was standard skate video. Okay. The next video we made was called Genesis. Got you. Okay. And that was for a sister company called Rhythm. Right. That video was crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what's crazy is people are so critical about the films I make. Okay. Imagine if the internet was around when oh, Genesis yeah. came out. They would have hung you. Dude, the, people's heads would explode. Yeah. <laughs> the music, the editing, like... Well, dude, I always tripped what? out in that video that every clip, in between every clip, there was like a little snippet Just, of something. Yeah. I was like, how did he do that? that was Spaz, like, dude. <laughs> dude, a lot of that stuff. So I did that video, filmed it. And then when it came to editing, we did it together, Jose Gomez and I. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Jose is mad insane. Scientist. Insane. You worked with Jose yeah. on audio. Yeah. He's just mad scientist. Okay. And again, we were still scared to open up After Effects at that point. We had After Effects. And I remember opening it up again like, nope, that still looks crazy. Close. <laughs> yeah. And so Jose was insane in Adobe Illustrator, insane in Photoshop. Okay. I had video footage. And was like, okay, well, and I think we were in video world, so it was 29, 9, 7, 29 frames a Mm -hmm. second, or Uh 30 frames a second. I would give him a footage, and we would export that as a film strip file, so it would be 30 frames in one second. Then he would take each one of those frames in Photoshop and make all those effects. No way. In Photoshop, would make all those effects frame by frame. No way. Yeah, dude. And then he'd give it back to me. As PNGs, or...? Uh, pff, no clue. Maybe J- <laughs> maybe JPEGs. Yeah. I have no idea what he even. No, I think he, maybe he could spin it back out as film strips, mm. and then that would. I don't even remember. You getting all this I, I, <laughs> film strip? No, I, I follow. It's it's nuts. So then yeah. we would bring that back in, conform it to thirty frames a second, and then put the audio under it. And that's what all those effects were done by hand, frame by frame. Wow. So I could and spin even the ones like double R and all that. No, no, no. The double R. Jose made that thing out of metal, and then I went and shot that on 16. Okay. The double R was a piece of metal that mm-hmm. we went brought around and shot. But all the effects, like Montoya pushing, where it's like clipping pass around him with static on part of it, and same thing. That was all done frame by frame by wow. Jose. Holy shit. And it's so crazy now, because Jose is so successful, an amazing filmmaker. Shallow design. Insane. And yeah. you could see where he started with all that stuff. Yep. But with me, that film was the first time... Where I was like, okay, Silver was a standard issue mm. skate film, but Genesis felt like, hey, I think this is something a little bit different. I liked that. I liked that people didn't like some of the aspects of okay. it because it was different, because I was like, well, at least we're trying something different. Mm-hmm. Try something, yeah. yeah. And I think that was something that really resonated with me okay. since day one. Yeah. And you can see some of the films I made over the years has the standard issue skate stuff, and right. there is stuff in there where we're always trying something new, and, yeah. and let's try it and piss some people off <laughs> uh, yeah. i always tripped out in the music you use especially in that video yeah that video was yeah. all yeah <laughs> like shani's song and yeah. richard's song Orb. was the stereo stereo lab yeah i just i don't know ryan Barth's uh, part richard's song was stereo lab yeah yeah dude it's, i think i still have a lot of serotonin that's missing from those <laughs> <Yeah. years. laughs> but i mean that's been my mo i really you know i really like editing to that type of music okay. where you can i don't know there's there's a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Even like when we were watching 
yeah the video Dude, today yes. you were like whoa this feels heavy yeah, yeah. a lot of energy segments. it was like emotional almost you could mm-hmm. feel it yeah i had to hand kelly a box of tissues mm-hmm. <laughs> really, yeah. I, I like that really i love it <laughs> I love it. I was happy, dude. You know? And people are so sick. They're like, God damn it. This guy's still doing this fucking shit. <laughs> but I mean, when you did the Genesis video, what, what what was the reaction from the team and the owners and the, what was the... I mean, dude, think about it. That was so out there. Right. That I'm looking back at it now. I'm so grateful they even allowed us to do it and i right. remember all the guys were like these dudes are onto something we're gonna let them do it we have okay. no idea what this thing is <laughs> but i guess go for it wow and I, i'm sure some of them were just like when it was out like damn that was crazy yeah. but i don't know i i've met like a lot of people that are like dude that was my favorite video the music oh, and the wow. editing and there was a lot of good videos <laughs> at that time like mouse and trilogy were out just but dude uh, compared that video to mouse yeah, holy yeah. shit yeah. <laughs> holy <laughs> shit yeah. talk about night and day I tripped out when I seen that. I was like in sixth grade or something. I was like, what the hell did I just watch, man? Yeah. So you did the Genesis video. Where, yeah. where fr- From there, where did you go? Got a job at Transworld. That's it. it. Was oh, on to, Transworld. It was on to Transworld. What World. was the first Transworld video you did? They were finishing Cinematographer. Okay. So I came on. Sick. I heard did Chris Roberts had an amazing couple Listen, tricks in man, there. Listen, I, I held the video together. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so you were that glue. Yeah, it was a glue. It was it me know. that held the glue? Tim, Tim huh? Dowling. Oh, yeah, Tim yeah. Dowling. Yeah. yeah. You guys, look at all, all three of us cinematographers. Oh, yeah, man. you were in the video, too. Yeah. Did you have a part in it, Rob? Wait, what you did you Ray, have? Ray's part, right? Oh, you had a line in it. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. Well, well, line. All, all over a pillar, then Trey flipped, and then did like a little wall ride. And then, so you came in, and you were, you were one of the cinematographers? So, Ted Newsom was the art director at Transworld at the time and okay. also doing the videos and killing it with the video stuff. Yeah. And I had come in and started doing their videos where now looking back at it, I think it was pretty crazy me being some dude like, hey, I want to come and do the videos when Ted was already doing that. And I don't even think I had a conversation with Ted. <laughs> oh, really? And Ted was super cool about it. Like, oh, you coming in to take my job, but like joking. Right. right. But now being older, like that was really crazy. But he was super cool about it. Then I came in and started helping with the videos, and they were finishing a uh, cinematographer, so I helped them finish that, okay. and then started on the next video, and the next video was Interface. Oh, oh yeah, dude. Wow. So Ted had a buddy that was in there basically learning to do video stuff, and he was learning to edit, and he okay. never filmed or anything, and it was John Holland. <laughs> oh. No way. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's Brad. <laughs> So, so I was still learning at the time. Yeah. And John was learning how to edit. Okay. And so I started spearheading all the filming and John would stay there and figure out editing. And Whoa. then we made interface together. And that was more of me, uh, more of me filming. And then John and I together editing. Okay. Then after that, John started filming on six cents oh. and whatever little knowledge I knew at that point, I helped John out with, this is white balance. This is exposure. <laughs> You hold Whatever. the paper out in F-16. <laughs> yeah, you hold the paper in F-5-6. That's incredible, dude. So you and John Holland. Yeah, and that wow. began our whole journey. That was John a... Many, John, yeah, go ahead. No, just working with John back then, it was like we were both starting on this journey, and it yeah. was super cool. And the craziest third component to that, Atiba had just started taking photos, so Atiba would always come out with us. Like the very first time Atiba went out to shoot photos mm-hmm. was on a Planet Earth shoot when I was filming for these videos. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. So Atiba and I have that when we both started like mm. almost to the week or something. Crazy. That's, he wow. was like, oh, I just moved out here from Colorado. I was like, cool. I don't even know if I moved out here. I'm on a couch down the street. <laughs> <but laughs> yeah, right. I want to roll out tomorrow. And so pretty much since day one, Atiba wow. and I have been going out. That's amazing. Damn. That's right. Yeah. I was going to say, how are you choosing people to be in these videos? Back then, it was a little challenging. Yeah. I think it was a lot of the times people would have extra footage and they're like, oh, I can give this to like a 401 or give it oh. to a trans world. Okay. And then maybe there'd be a guy that didn't have footage and really wanted to film a part. So a lot of that stuff just kind of happened organically. Mm-hmm. Maybe some of the guys are like shooting an interview with a photographer and then I would start going out with them. Mm-hmm. And... I think the first videos were like that, you okay. know, at least for me when I was working there was just kind of like, okay, these are just going to kind of organically happen. Yeah. And then we made this video called Transmission 7, mm-hmm. which was like the worst video ever. <laughs> and it was just different segments and like weird satellite thing. It was yeah. 
it, yeah, it was, I thought it was a cool video. You liked it? I did like it. There's good uh, skating. I can't in stand it. it. There was good skating in it. <laughs> there was good skating. Yeah, in yeah, it. yeah. I just yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that that video was the catalyst to be like, okay, that sucked. Let's make something cool, and that's how feedback was born. Okay, wow. Let's and, step the game up. Yeah, right. and that one was like, can we get someone, some people in it that really want to step up, make it good. And right around that same time was when I moved to LA. And right around that same time was when the new fisheye came out. Oh. Right around that same time is when I started using generators and lights. Right around that same time is when Musco was blowing up and like all this stuff just came together. Dill, Abe, and like, wow. I don't know. It, w it was like, it still wasn't, a lot of it just kind of happened. Mm -hmm. Like I remember Muska didn't want to do a part and I just kind of kept hitting him up and showing up on sessions at first. And then he finally got stoked after I showed okay. him some footage. Dill and Ave were like super over it. Like wow. they needed to be filming for Alien, but there was no one around. So they're like, all right, we'll go out with Ty. And then I just kept getting stuff of them. They're like, you're using that for the Alien video, right? <laughs> you're like, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but they'll be the first to tell you like, goddamn feedback video. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, dude, they, I saw they shouted you out on the fucking They still tell you the same thing. Like, <laughs> hey, that song. But like, they called you on that song. Yeah. Oh. So the song <laughs> was crazy because Fran Richards had a deal. Fran Richards, who I forget what he was, the vice president or something at Transworld, had a deal with Interscope. And supposedly we could get all this music from Interscope and then Interscope was going to distribute the video. So I went and drive up to Interscope and meet with like, I forget who it was, one of the guys that like Dr. Dre always raps about. And he's showing me, hey, this is our new artist. He's like this white kid rapping from from back east whatever and it was eminem yeah and he's like you gotta use this music in your video so i think there's like an eminem no song way. in the credits but anyways all that music was supposed to be through you know through interscope and then i think universal had just bought interscope so then it was like oh you have access to interscope too so i'm like cool and this is like pre i'm sure there's internet but i, I didn't have it and so i had like a book with all these artists and i'm like looking through it like no doubt garbage like <laughs> okay cool i'm trying to figure out music here but you you're know? just looking for something you recognize yeah and like i th i think the first song i had that i recognized was the ian brown song which was the song that dill liked right mm -hmm. so that's what got put in the first version and i don't even think dill knew that song but he's like oh i like it like cool okay. so that's what he was talking about he was stoked on that and then once the video got done interscope was like hell no we're not clearing all these songs so then that version, the first version, I believe, went to Europe like that. So oh, it got released wow. like that. Then I had to go back, re-edit to other songs that were clearable. And that's why all those other songs ended up getting used. Whoa, okay. And so, yeah, I think there was a lot of miscommunication <laughs> between Interscope and everyone else. I don't even know if... If anyone out there has that original copy, oh, yeah. I want to hear I got it. it. I know. Please, got please it. post it online. Is it, yeah, why is it up on, on the internet anywhere? Yeah. I don't know. That Trans world, where is <laughs> yeah. it? Did you guys clear it yet? But I, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how, I know how much those rights are. Yeah. How much are they? Not that much. No? Depends on, on what it is. Yeah. How devastating is that for you when you have to go back and re-edit oh somebody's God. part? Every project, every project has song. something like that. Really? always yeah. man that's what's so scary it's like you have the biggest fear and yeah. pit in your you stomach like days, oh like, god please let cut. this work out because sometimes i feel like even like the first edit is always like the best one you can try to go back and re-edit mm. it or something yeah. like i said i'm not the yeah. biggest editor but i tend to find that it's just funny because kids today or skate public they don't understand all that other stuff that mm. happens behind the scenes mm. why certain things are like that right yeah right there's, there's always two sides to a story there needs to be a reality show about making a skate video dude <laughs> i could write the most insane book <laughs> yeah, I bet. holy shit is there anything that was just insane like that sticks out in your head that was just like this is just fucking this is fuck oh my yeah dude what was the crazy like what were you just I mean, like there's, there's dude, a million like, stories <laughs> where do you want where you're just like much, i fucking roberts how much time do you got dude? come on are you kidding you, me we got lots of time i got man. about tw 200 gigs on my <laughs> I, computer i doubled up on cards too so we're oh good. yeah we're good oh, yeah how many trans world videos did you do in total finished cinematographer mm -hmm. then did interface six cents transmission seven feedback the reason modus and then I did like a couple of trick tip videos. Okay. I don't know. Ten, nine? Nine, ten? Nine ish. Okay. What was your favorite what was your favorite feedback? 
feedback. For sure. Everybody, fuck, everybody dude, talks about modus too. Reason, you know, like the reason. The reason yeah. modus are like, to me, like the fucking greatest videos of all time. The reason and modus were good, but feedback was the first of that type. Exactly. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it had musk in it. Yeah. Tell me with yeah. musk. Yeah. <laughs> dude, musk. I fucking love Chad. And a lot of that stuff was was Chad and I just going out by ourselves. Really? That's it. Just me and him. He had his boom box. I was super into electro. He was super into electro. I would have this <laughs> drum and bass tape. He would put it in the ghetto blaster, hit play, and then be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Get stoked. Like, all right, right here. And then he'd go back and do the most insane stuff. Or he'd write up a bunch and be like, hey, rewind that part right there. And be like, no, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> and... and Dude, it was like no one was into that music except maybe me, Chad, and a couple other people. Like drum and bass, that stuff was insane. Yeah. I loved it. Everyone hated it. And I was so stoked that Musk was into drum and bass because I knew, like I I was a huge fan of Chad, but when Mm -hmm. I got to hang out with him and we had that like, oh, you're into drum and bass? Right. What? All right. The bond. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude. And, And seeing the shit he did was insane. Right. Like, dude, I I watched him do the most insane shit where it was just me and him and his ghetto blaster. That's you know it. his intro where he's like, yeah, the ghetto blast. Like, dude, that yeah. was real. That was, just, <laughs> yeah. that was real. And the funniest thing is, is towards the end, he was trying to do an ender uh-huh. and we went to Staples. I think he wanted to try to crook it. The, oh, the big shit. light. The one the big... that Clive did. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So he's riding up to a bunch getting stoked, rewinding the tape, the whole deal. It was the Darth Nugs tape. Darth Nugs, okay. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was, a, it, it was another tape. It anyways, was a Noti Ride or whatever it was? No, that was later. <laughs> but he's riding up to a bunch, getting stoked, and then the security came and took the ghetto blaster. No. And this was the first day. Ativa had like some weird, there was like the OG big boom box. Okay. But then Ativa somehow had like this tech Boom box. All right. It was like, it looked like a, a big cannon. I forget what it was. Maybe it had some new features. I don't know what it was. But uh-huh. but Chad was super psyched. He had this new boom box. Maybe it was super louder. And it had that tape in it. And security came and like came super hectic on Chad, grabbed him, grabbed the boom box, and they kind of got in a scuffle. Oh. And I think I had just been arrested for something similar, like with security and skating. So I was like, dude, we got to get out of here. This is about to get crazy. Like, and I'm so, I basically pulled Chad out of there. And in the process, the boom box got left with the no. tape in it. And he was just like, I don't care about the boom box. Fucking tape's in there, man. How am I going to skate? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the muska. Yeah, man. But that, that video, I <laughs> love the reason. I love Modus. We got you but, in that mood, huh? But like feedback, making, yeah. feedback was the one that like all that stuff came together. The mm. lens, the yeah. generator, the lights. Yeah. These dudes were killing it. Arto, Reynolds, Rally, dude. That Dill, lineup was so Ave, sick, dude. Muska, it was heavy. Wow. Hey, dude, every video that you made right there had the illest lineup, dude, for sure. And that was when I switched over to the variable slow mos, tape to tape. Where before that we were doing them on the computer, hmm. and that was when I went back to the analog. Was that made it all slow and like that weird sound? It was just the the older type of slow mos that they did in the videos before nonlinear. It was how you would do slow mos tape to tape because you would, even though you're filming digital on a VX1000, I would put that onto an analog tape, which was Betacam SP, then have Betacam to Betacam with a controller and then be able to control the pitch and speed. Oh, okay. And you did that, why? It just looked way better. It just looked way better. And yeah. different, and you can control it. I mean, the only other option at that point was doing it in Media 100, but they were set slow-mos. You couldn't do variables. Now mm. you can do a keyframe and, you'd like to and do an S-curve yeah. Yeah, of that, where before you're only 50%. Or if you wanted to do like like a variable, you would have to take a chunk at 50, take a chunk at 75, take yeah, a chunk at like 80. Choppy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and kind of bring it down. Where that was like smooth. Well, I was going to say, too, is like like you said, you said everything kind of formed into like these guys being in the video. Uh-huh. At that point, it seemed like when the videos got heavier, you, you you probably started picking certain dudes at that point to be in there. Or was it kind of... Yeah, but a lot of that still happened naturally, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember the reason a- Adrian Lopez was supposed to have a part. Oh, remember shit. how he backlipped that hubba downtown LA yeah, at the yeah, Holiday yeah. Inn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that was one of the first things we filmed right after feedback. And then... Uh, I think I filmed I think I filmed a couple other things of him and then 
Adrian just Lopes just kind of damn d- fell off the map. But then Mumford came in, oh, yeah. and Mumford just started killing it. And I was like, oh shit! And I remember Jamie saying something like, "Well, why don't you just do a part with Mumford if Lopez ain't around?" And like that just happened organically, Ooh, you know. So yeah. I don't know. A lot of that for those videos just kind of happened. Mm-hmm. And then I think Modus that lineup, those dudes just were insane at that time and i was just super grateful that those dudes were down to do a part at that point Mm -hmm. because i I think at that point when i started like i said the transo videos a lot of the guys it was just leftover footage Mm -hmm. versus filming a part for it i think when they first started dudes were doing parts like dreams of children Mm -hmm. that was like when they were shooting photos and filming it yeah skin was talking about that yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. insane i went yeah. to that i was at that premiere yeah oh wow, wow. but that's then when, like that's when trends will realize like oh we should be the ones making these videos yeah right and they made uno and four-wheel drive where mm-hmm. the dudes filmed for it mm-hmm. but then i think after that and even when i first started it was more like oh, i got some footage here's a part mm-hmm. i'll film a couple tricks but that kind of sucks though right just being handed footage and just editing a part like wouldn't you rather be that's out there the that's was. that's why i think the difference was yeah. with feedback because right. then it was like and the fact that like Muska and those dudes stepped up that crazy for that video, yeah, helped the reason become as good as it was. It made trans world videos like what they yeah. were for set, sure. Set the tone yeah, for right. sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then it like even like when you did one, it, it felt mm-hmm. like all right, I'm doing a trans world part. Like yeah, they were they felt big. They were huge. Yeah. That was yeah. the video to be in. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah, it was it was cool to be a part of that man. And Ty left. I'm like, and Greg left. Yeah. yeah, but even after I left, those dudes killed it. Yeah. yeah. Jason like, killed John, it. For sure. This is what's John insane is like John Holland is the raddest dude ever, man. Mm-hmm. He was Greg's or sorry, he was Ted's buddy. Didn't know how to film, was learning how to edit. I think he was even learning like Photoshop. And then I kind of knew a little bit about filming and, and taught John what I knew and then we went off and made these videos and I was like dude I never had a blowout with John Mm. the whole time for like five years however long we got along so good it was rad man it was a cool experience and it felt like we were making something especially after feedback like we were making something special yeah something Mm -hmm. cool like holy shit we're making something rad here for me to leave and see how hard John killed it yeah after I left was fucking rad right and then greg coming on and seeing them work together you and coming on mm-hmm. jason hernandez mm-hmm. chris ray like seeing everything continue on was fucking awesome man right and it's so crazy because when i made the last film we are blood mm-hmm. it was this huge just holy that's a whole nother tv show <laughs> it's a whole, that, that's a whole nother show right, right. but i had like five people in there helping me edit and like we still couldn't get things done and it wasn't working how i needed to do and Whoa. and i was like man i need someone in here to help me and long story short john ended up coming on and helping me finish that video wow and dude it was heavy i mean you talk about how things come full circle yeah. and, and not burning bridges yeah. and getting along with people it's like dude i'm such a firm believer in that shit that like paying it forward yeah like you're going to need this person's help 20 years from now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know, and, right. and any little thing that I've helped John accomplish mm-hmm. through, through the beginning, or, I mean, I barely even helped him do anything, man. He did everything on his own. But the fact that we did all that stuff together, right? I went off, did my own thing, and then 15 or however many, 20 years later, he comes back and helps me with We Are Blood, that big film. Yeah. Wow. Was rad. What was wrong with the Holy project? dude wrong with it no, no there was I mean, nothing like wrong with, there was nothing wrong with it it was, with a, it. It was a beast yeah. oh are you kidding me like the footage the workflow how do you tell a story and, yeah. imp- and integrate skateboarding and, and a lot of that and, footage and was like, like 4k to 8k it, it was a heavy <laughs> heavy beast to tame and i don't care how good of an editor you are good luck and seriously no it's seriously yeah like we had some hollywood dude come in that's like an amazing editor uh-huh. and he was trying to help me with a trailer and he couldn't even make a trailer out of it you know and wow. then i had another guy that has documentary background and he did some pretty amazing stuff but okay. but still in the bigger picture of things like it was heavy dude it was uh insane experience now why was it just that that, was it just because you had this helicopter shot and then this shot and then this and this i mean did you just was it just too much i mean we were trying we were trying to weave somewhat of a story but also have core skate tricks in Mm -hmm. it have 
the non-core and the core come together in a, and have a film that kind of has elements of everything. Okay. So, uh, a skate film that you can watch with your parents. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, that was the ultimate goal yeah, right okay. there is like right. a kid that skated, young kid and seen, a, you know, whatever, a film that he or she could watch with their family. Right. So, I don't know. I think at the end of the day, man, it's like that film was, any of these films are always a new experience for me. Mm-hmm. And it's, like I said, a math problem. How do you fix that? How do, how do you solve that problem? There's a million ways to do it. And with We Are Blood, that was the biggest budget in skateboarding film, the most weight I've ever had on my shoulders. And it was really challenging even to make that film. And I'm really par- I'm like proud of the fact that we even made that thing. Because yeah, that yeah. was insane to Did take Did Brain on. Farm approach you to make that film? So when I was finishing pretty sweet, about halfway through, I needed to rent a phantom camera and started talking to Brain Farm Mm -hmm. and they wanted to do a skate film right then. I was like, well, I need to finish pretty sweet. So I I knew at that point, once I was done with pretty sweet, I was going to go over there and Mm -hmm. make a film. But I don't know. It, like I said, it wasn't about having all this crazy gear and helicopters and all that other stuff. It was about how big of a task that was to take on Mm -hmm. and pull it off. Wow. At least in my eyes, that's how I felt about it. Like, okay, this is going to be a lot to handle. But at the same time, you're trying to push the envelope, right? You're trying to... Yeah, and also, like, you're going to Brain Farm, who has a whole army that can work for you, you know? Yeah, but there was still a lot of that skate style factor where it was just me and Justice, and you remember coming out with me one day, and I had Garcia who helped me produce it, Mm -hmm. and... Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of names in those credits, but it's, not really. it's still, at the end of the day, it's still pretty, Yeah, you going out there doing it. It's an in, in, intimate bunch, right? You and Justice yeah. Ott. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it always is. Yeah, yeah. For it's skateboarding, right? Yeah. Well, you guys went to, like, Dubai and, like, all these crazy places, yeah, though, that was dude. insane. Like, that was so sick. What, what, what were you what, up on that big building dude, with the helicopter check this out. pad? Check this out. So... That camera system that goes underneath the helicopter is called a Cineflex, right? Okay. And we adapted that to go on my truck. Now, Brain Farm was building like a Cineflex inside of a vehicle where you could hit a button and it would move to each window and film out of the windows. Oh, wow. So the only thing is, is they needed the Cineflex to rig it up and the Cineflex was at my house. Okay. So I ended up bringing the Cineflex there and then the Prince of Dubai's assistant came in to check the system and that's when i got introduced to him and was introduced as like hey this is how he's making a skate film and the first thing he said was you must come to dubai to make your film no way and i was like yeah man i'd I'd love to come to dubai he's like we have many things that would be good for skateboarding i was like yeah it looks amazing i'd love to be there and i didn't think much of it yeah (laughs) dude i was on an emirates flight next week yeah right flying out to dubai like all your gear no 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 to scout Shut the fuck wow. up. Yeah. So Garcia and I fly out there the next week. They put us up in like an amazing hotel and it was so dope, dude. We All just, expenses paid. This is, hey, come on out. Yeah, and check man. This, check it out. Dubai, it's pretty dope out there, man. Wow. They're, they're, they they want to show the world what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah. And so they're like, come out, scout. So we scouted for like a week, drove around the city, saw a bunch of amazing things. And then, you know, we had someone there um, helping us out with everything. And I, I even mentioned something. They're like, what else do you need? I was like, oh, it'd be cool if we had a helicopter to fly around and look at stuff to skate on the roof. And I was joking. (laughs) Dude, we were in the private helicopter an hour later flying over Dubai. And I'm like looking at handrails and stuff. Like, wow, (laughs) dude. Crazy. That's That's nuts. That's rad. It was insane. And then then we went back like a year later and that's when we filmed the whole segment. How did you get in touch with them again? After like a year later, do you just call them up again? No, and Brain like, Farm hey, had an gonna... ongoing relationship oh, with them. Okay, gotcha. It was awesome, man. It was such a great experience, wow. dude. It was so cool and bringing all those dudes out there and everything we got to do it was. It, it you were there for like three weeks, right? Dude, I was there for five weeks. Oh, <laughs> oh my shit. god! Yeah, I went out like a week and a half before everyone, and then we ended up staying an extra week. And when you were going around all these places, they yeah. didn't care if you skated. So they were the ones that had the keys to the castle and and we would tell them (laughs) the it was really dope man they're like you can skate wherever you want tell us where and we're gonna make it happen but it wasn't like 
drive around pull over oh, okay i would like that's why i went out there two weeks before i would sit there and be like okay on this day we're gonna skate here and if we still have juice we'll go here mm -hmm. and then the next day and it was probably like two spots a day that we would have and, oh. and then if we filtered through those two spots for that day that was it there's no like oh let's pull over right here yeah. it was like, it was like specific oh, wow. locations for each day it's wow. pretty sick yeah it was sick so they did they have like a, a not a police escort, but they had people with you. Yeah, to we. Go and, yeah, and they were to, super cool. Like they were super into filmmaking, and they they like it was rad, man. Like we used a bunch of their crew. We got to wow. use a bunch of their tools. They have a know, bunch it, of toys over there. Yeah, it was a super amazing experience, dude. Like okay. I was just tripping out. Like the shit we did on on the helicopter pad yeah. with the bench is yeah. psycho. That we're even up there yeah. skating, and they're letting us do that, <laughs> dude. There was no. There was nothing around that. If well, a board fell off, game over. To me, yeah. that's what it looked like. It looked like you had the people. That's why we around, had those people there. Yeah. yeah. So that if the board, that's what they were standing there for. But that, and then like, dude, Paul coming out on the balcony on the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, and us going out there filming it. It's like, dude, that was a once in a lifetime yeah. chance to do all that stuff. <laughs> right? It was so amazing. That's, were you like the first ones to skate those spots too, other than the helicopter pad, but like all the a street spots? A lot of them, yeah. a lot of them. And they were super cool about it because we would have to rub brick and lacquer stuff. And yeah. it's like, dude, we're rub bricking and lacquering like the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, dude, and, and it's like, they're like, don't worry about it, you know we can fix this stuff we know this is what you're gonna do because wow. i think they saw like i don't know they knew the bigger picture of yeah. how cool that segment was gonna be right yeah. did you invite them to the premiere it did yeah yeah a bunch of them came it was cool sick dude the people there were so cool were they That's yeah awesome. and they were so stoked on skating and Damn. it was just rad man i mean not to be all preachy but traveling around the world yeah. experiencing different cultures and seeing them genuinely stoked on skateboarding mm -hmm. is so fucking refreshing yeah. than the shit we deal with out here man. yeah totally everyone's so sick of skating here yeah. yeah yeah and i think that's one of the best things about traveling with skating mm. yeah real quick though what, what you, you did the uh skate a stand mm. how was that it was insane that was one of the best experiences of my life really yeah to go out there mm. is crazy right I mean, not necessarily. No? You weren't scared to go to Afghanistan? No, for sure. I was shook. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's two realities. There's what everyone in, envisions or sees in the media of what the, what the Middle East is, and yeah. then there's going out there and experiencing it for yourself. Yeah. Okay. You know, I, I had a great relationship with Oliver that runs Skatistan, and he was looking to do a new project, and I just started my production company. I had a bunch of gear, and I was like, let's go. Let's do it. Now, does he live out there in Afghanistan? Or how does how does the whole Skatistan thing work? I Is mean, there's it? different people that work for Skatistan. Okay. Skatistan has three, three? three main locations. Well, no, I guess four. One in Kabul, Afghanistan. Okay. One in Maza Sharif, Afghanistan. Gotcha. One in Joburg, South Africa. Oh. And one in Cambodia. Oh, wow. Those are the main ones. And then I believe they have an office in Germany, huh. I believe. But those are the main locations around the globe, and they wanted me to come out and make a short film about each one of the locations and help raise awareness and funding for Skatistan. Wow. And it was fucking awesome. What was it like when you stepped off the plane? Was it just, were you tripped? Like, Your heart just, is instantly pounding. Did you have, like, <laughs> like people around you to, like, protect you? Or, like, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, how, how does this mm -mm. work? No, you just no, get on, you get on, no. what, do you jump in a cab? I mean, I'm a huge fan of respecting the culture wherever you are. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the most amazing things about skateboarding is traveling. Yeah. Meeting people, experiencing their culture. For sure. So before we even went out there, you know, Oliver kind of prepped us on appropriate behavior, behavior, culture. Okay. You know, first thing we did when we got there was we went and got local clothes, oh, dressed really? up in the local clothes. And yeah, man, I mean, there's same as being here. If you're not from here, it's, you want to respect the culture. Mm -hmm. Well, why local clothes? Do you want to just blend in or because was it being just a Westerner like a, out there with this type of stuff? Not good. You're not respecting their culture oh you know paint a picture for me was it like a war-torn country or was it oh, just yeah. normal or was it i mean were there people with guns and war roaming it's like well, how, what was it like i had been out to kabul about a year and a half ago when we were scouting for we are blood okay and, and that was super war and torn oh super gnarly everyone with guns and everything else but i mean dude let's face it there's kids there 
that are born into that reality. Right. You know, where we went this where we went the second time was Maza Sharif, which was a lot mellower okay. and not as war torn. But mm. I mean, dude, at the end of the day, you're a kid born into this situation. And here in the States, if you're born into a challenging situation, you have things that you can use to help you. Right. Like, dude, it is gnarly out there, man. Wow. And and seeing the conditions these kids are in and knowing that skate stands there for them. And mm-hmm. it's not just the skate park where you go skate. Like, they learn amazing things, reading, writing. Oh, it's a whole, like, school. Oh, wow. It's going for, like a whole thing. For every hour of skating, you do an hour of school. Oh. And there's different cultures and classes, and they're all coming together, getting along. Mm-hmm. And... It's so dope, man, going there, experiencing these cultures, meeting these kids, and then having the bond of skateboarding. It's like yeah. the most genuine thing you can do. Oh. And, you know, it's like Skate Stand is all funded by donations. Mm-hmm. And I have zero dollars in my bank account, but I have a bunch of camera gear. Let's go out there and make something cool. Yeah. So it was a good feeling, man, going out there doing that. And, you know, skate videos are skate videos. And mm-hmm. my commercial work is what I use to pay the bills. But this was one of the most meaningful wow. film projects I've ever worked on, it's for amazing. sure. How long were you out there for? Uh, we were in Afghanistan about a week, and then Joburg for like five days, and Cambodia for but five listen, days. listen, man, you got a wife and a kid and everything. Were, 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 were they worried about you going out there? Like, were they like, dude? It's heavy, man, for sure. It's heavy going out yeah, there, but like, I don't know. I mean, think of places we skate here in LA it's like you never know yeah it's dangerous I, I, mean, I mean you're right I go true. on live leak all the time I see people getting smoked <laughs> yeah, crossing the street true. man that's like true. live leak <laughs> let's party yeah. let's get this party going and live yeah. let's go back to uh, oh, uh, the ending of Transworld Transworld good run and what did what, why'd you want to leave was it just uh, you wanted to do something new because it seems I think, like a cool thing you're, 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 yeah. you're traveling you're, you've got a whole different crew of skaters every year mm. that you're filming yeah and, I mean, I felt like those three videos, Feedback, The Reason, mm-hmm. Modus, I felt like, okay, we we're doing something different here. Right. And Modus felt, in my eyes, about as good as I could get one of those things feeling at that point. Oh, really? Well, I don't know. Well, with I, the resources that you had? Just with or? the lineup of those dudes mm-hmm. and the formula of everything we've been doing at that point, it, it felt good. And okay. going back to Chad, I was super good friends with him and... Tony Bulos that owns Shorties had gave me a really great offer to go work at Shorties and do the Shorties video. Mm. So I was actually going to do that. Okay. And that was during the course of Modus. And then I was having a conversation with like Mesa and Rick and Carol, mm. letting them know I was going to do that. And they were like, well, we need someone over here as well too. Would you entertain coming over here? And I was like, oh shit. Cause that's right when I was starting Lakai, right? Yeah. And I never even thought I'd go work there because that was like, in my eyes, such upper echelon of I would never even be able to go work there and, yeah. and be able to make videos for those dudes because mm-hmm. I just, I don't know, I just looked up to them as the best. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go work for Shorties and make this project with Chad, which in my eyes, again, could be just as good mm-hmm. and be an amazing experience What would that well. have been? Fulfill the dream? No. I guilty. think it was like oh, what their guilty. video went on to be guilty, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> But it wasn't guilty. It was yeah. whatever we would have made. But. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> there, there probably would have been a lot more drum and bass in that video if I made it. <laughs> well, really quick, actually, too, mm. like in in like the Transworld videos, I remember the fr- like you made the montage in it, and yeah. it had no names in it. Yeah, and people they were, were like pissed. tripping. Dude. Rusty, Rusty from yeah. Maine was pissed. <laughs> Why right? the no names? Why were you? Yeah. You didn't want to. It's distracting. It? I just don't like it, you man. Didn't like the names. It felt to me. Uh-huh. Having those names in there felt like a transo video montage with names. It felt like a four on one montage oh. with names. I was like, let's get rid of that. Okay. I don't know. I felt like it took away from it. Right. And you could put the names in the credits, or I don't even know if we did. Yeah, order of appearance. You could. F- yeah. Yeah. Did we? I don't know. I think you know you did because I would be yeah. like, I want to know who that is. I'd go okay. Look in the so back. there you go. Yeah. 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 The names are in there, Rusty. Yeah. <laughs> Rusty. <laughs> the credits. What, yeah. say, what are you guys uh, doing? <laughs> I wonder what Rusty's doing right now. Rusty's definitely killing it. <laughs> you know what's amazing too? In hmm. the the reason there were the guy who's like he's like Soltech owned by Nike. Yeah, like, I know that dude. He's, yep. friend, he's like best friend with like Spanish Mike. Yeah, he, he still yeah. pops up every yeah. now and then. Like, remember <laughs> me? Like, yeah, I fucking remember you, bro. 
<laughs> there was so much other shit he was spewing that we didn't use. I think he knew he, oh, he was, was just saying, like was saying, saying shit. shit. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I don't I mean, unless he really believed that. I don't know. He was, was crazy. Funny. So you don't take the job with shorties. You go no. to girl yeah. and you start making. Yeah, right. Yeah, but it wasn't called. Yeah, right. What was a... Oh, well, at that point... It was nothing. Yeah, yeah we were just, just, we were just filming. Yeah. Right. But the crazy thing... Okay, I come off Modus, start working for Girl, don't really know everyone that works there, mm -hmm. and we start filming a video, and, like, the OG dudes are, like, off it. They're right. not returning my calls. <laughs> and so I started grabbing the younger up-and-coming yeah. dudes. right. Oh, uh, Chris Roberts. Well, you know, <laughs> Chris Roberts got thrown in the truck. I got, uh, I got a couple clips in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frosty was filming for Minik Mahdi at the time. Oh, okay. McCrank was filming for Minik Mahdi. Mm -hmm. uh, Carol and these dudes had just come off Modus, so they're pretty fried out. Right. So right. <laughs> it, it, it took a little bit to get that thing going. Yeah. And I remember I did like some sort of like video meeting i would always do those like yeah. put all the footage no, on the me, tape I, I would always leave bummed because it was, uh, <laughs> everyone, i had nothing everyone, i had nothing, everyone you know everyone probably left <laughs> bummed but yeah i think that was like i remember eric sitting there watching it like all right dude it's cool i gotta go film and he dipped to he go dipped film right. and i was like oh my god how are we even gonna do this thing do it right yeah so it took a minute but mm -hmm. like dudes dudes start getting warmed up to me yeah it's, they started they started liking the the flow the, the the flow and the generator a little bit at night yeah that was a new one yeah you were yeah. like the first one to be doing that for sure no but i think there's a lot of people doing it at that well, point but i think with with those dudes they had never really well, experienced the bondo the generator let's go for it you would just take stuff to the next level i feel like you know i feel like you would just i don't know i feel like everyone was no i, was I feel like, like ty just well, you, like gave people the opportunity to get shit done yeah, well, yeah, that's true, that, too. That was, has always been my MO. You know how there's, like, Jamie's the chief and Ty's yeah. this and that? It's yeah. like, I've never been, like, we need to go skate. It's always been about presenting the opportunity. And, yeah. and if someone wants something there, of course I'm going to be there for yeah. it, you know, right. regardless of the situation. You know, you you and I think French Fred were the first ones I remember doing the rolling long lens type thing. Uh, Dan Wolf. Well, yeah. Well, Dan Wolf was doing it, too. A lot of people were doing it. I don't know why well, dude, they the say me and well, well I, you had the most memorable one. Yeah, I think me. that me too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You this know, Rick, Rick Howard's front nose with the chain, and then uh, the 180 switch crook that Scott Johnson did. Those are mm. like epic clips and epic. God, clips. that trick of Scott was so sick. That's insane, yeah. dude. Yeah. That yeah. angle on that ledge is not yeah. easy for that trick. That was such a sick trick. Yeah. But so, I feel like you implemented like the dolly and the crane and the you know all this stuff. The bells you know? and whistles. Yeah, but everyone else. I mean, I people are using people... drones, and you're like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna use a helicopter." <laughs> you know, like, what, what, what do you want from me? But you know? I feel like I'm always getting pegged with like, "Oh, that's Ty doing this," but it's like, dude, we're all nah. we're doing it collectively. Like, you were doing dolly stuff, right? Yeah, it wasn't just me yeah. when I was doing it. It was like everyone. I remember even when I did the first dolly stuff, Fred sent me like an email. I think I started doing the dolly stuff because I saw your Daryl piece. Oh, really? Yeah. See, Ty. See. Yeah, but and I was like basically like zooming in on photos, like oh, what is that? And like oh, really? And I had to order the thing, fucking. Oh, wasn't from I England. like wasn't I blurring stuff? You were, or yeah. Something? <laughs> but I, figured, I figured it out. All right, all right, you busted me. I, I you figured, busted me. I figured it out, and I found out the, the place was like in England. And had yep. to order from England. Yeah, Raj the sleuth. Yep. <laughs> Going back to virtual reality, seeing the beginning with the three screens and being blown away. Mm -hmm. And then seeing other skate videos, whether it be mouse or anything else, I've always been a huge fan of like, whoa, that's sick. That's yeah. crazy. That's new. How did they do this? Mm -hmm. This is something new. And being able to work with Girl and obviously Spike and everything he brings to the table and Rick, mm -hmm. it was such an amazing experience for me. Of course I was going to go there and learn. Right. You know, and that's what this has all been about is going out and learning and, and some stuff I learned on my own, a lot of stuff I learned from them. But yeah, I mean, working with Spike must have been incredible too because now he's, I mean, he's... Yeah. Dude, working with him was the raddest thing ever because he is so up there and he was so cool and generous right. with everything. Yeah. Whether it be, hey, Ty, grab this, go do this, or this is how this is done. And, like, I think that's something that is really genuine about him is, like, he's the coolest dude ever, yeah. and he is so on another level and has no ego at all. 
and he's just Spike the Raddest. Well, you dude almost ever. forget that he's like this director. You yeah, know, it's you, crazy, right? winner. you just forget. Yeah. He's just a dude. He's you the know? raddest like, dude yeah. ever. When they were doing Yeah Right, and they were like, okay, now we're going to do invisible boards, and we're going to do this, yeah. and were you just like, what the fuck? I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're dude, I was blown away. I didn't tracking know tracking cameras, and I didn't know any of that stuff. And no. I remember him going like, here, grab this, go do second unit, and go direct this over here. Get a shot, and I was just like, "Oh, like, what second unit?" <laughs> I'm just like, "I don't know what I'm doing." He's like, "You'll figure it out." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you, you've got like, this, dude. He rips. Yeah, it's like that's what being a generous person is about with filmmaking, yeah. and like give people opportunities. Yeah, yeah. man, mm-hmm. and like I've done that a little bit, mm-hmm. taking dudes under my wing, whether it be like John from the very beginning with that little bit, oh, yeah. or a, a Chris Ray, or a Justice, mm-hmm. or Devin a Fed Rico, yeah. or yeah, anyone. You know, it's like. I like being able to give back and seeing those people grow. Right. And and that's pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Seeing like, okay, there's a piece of me in that dude mm-hmm. or vice versa. Right. Who came up with the name Pretty Sweet? Did you? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, right. Dimitri Elioskovich. Oh, Dimitri did. <laughs> yeah. Dimit. Not right. So Kelly Bird would always say, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Because Bird would always say it when we were talking about something or a story. Yeah. And then Dimitri would always say it, impersonating Bird is a joke. But then we were on, dude, we were on a U.S. trip doing demos, filming for the video in the middle of winter. I don't know why, what was, it was like, dude, Weird. we were in Chicago and it was oh, snowing. <laughs> Who scheduled it that was, tour? I don't know. Like, it wow. was dope. Okay. Because you always go in the summer. Yeah. But I remember Dimitri being in the back and then he just threw it out there, like saying the yeah, right. And like, you guys should name the video. And it was just like, oh yeah, wow. we're calling it yeah, right. But another fun fact We'll back up a couple of years. Okay. Kelly Bird would always call me and play like some electro music <laughs> and he'd say, chew on this. And then he'd play like some crazy music on my answer machine, right? Okay. So chew on this came from Kelly Bird. And when Ativo and we were talking about doing a video, I was like, we should call it chew on this. And he's like, let's call it chomp on this. Chomp I was like, this. ooh, that sounds sick. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, chomp wow. on this. Well, now that we've yeah, talked we about, yeah, right, let's talk about chomp on this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're going backwards. I mean, yeah. but it's fine, though. We have it's like fine. 30 videos to choose we, from. We, we, can, yeah. we still we got can, more on yeah, right. We can, we can go back. Okay, we can let's, go back. Let's dig into chomp. But chomp was, I mean, everybody loved. Hold on. They were. Hold on. What? But let's even back up more. Yeah, please. Sorry, sorry to steal No, where are we going? Roberts. Where? To, tell me where we're going. When I first started working for Girl, yeah, there was the younger dudes that would gravitate towards filming, right? Okay. And when I finished Modus, mm-hmm. I'd gotten to know and film Beeble. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> and so Beeble at the Modus premiere got asked to ride for Lakai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Beeble's on Lakai, mm-hmm. and then long story short he ends up getting on girl, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember I took the van and we were doing a trip up north and it was the first big trip. I think okay. maybe we were going to the back to city mm-hmm. or not back city. I think we were going to, I think we were going to the Vancouver contest oh. and we were going to stop and sack and pick up Beeble. <laughs> and I remember Keenan is in the back seat uh-huh. and he's like, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, we're going to stop and sack and pick up Beeble. And he's like, oh, Beeble. Yeah, like Brandon Boogles, people's like, oh, that's funny. Like, that was a funny name. And I was like, nah, he's like the new dude on Girl. And yeah. he's like, who, what? He had no he had idea, no idea who Beeble who was. was. <laughs> he thought that like Brandon Beeble, that name uh-huh. was a name that like I made up, like, just we're going to go pick whatever. Up. <laughs> yeah. And so he started like making these other names that sounded like Beeble. And then like we pull up and Beeble gets in the car and he's just like, oh, he's real. Like, he's oh, real. what's up, Beeble? Like, and he's calling him, I don't know, remember what he was calling him, but dude, Keenan was so sick. That's amazing. So dope. Wow. Yeah. Was that the trip that he switch flip the, tr- the triple set i don't you know, know if it was that trip oh. what that was the trip we did when we were going up to yeah dude holy shit maybe that was <laughs> i think maybe it was that trip hmm. and p rod was there oh shit he kick flipped the double set city star dudes were there they had an rv damn you Get filmed him switch flip that thing that's amazing wow I was so sick. Yeah. <laughs> i was so sick that was amazing dude. he was the raddest i never dude really ever, saw him man. skate something that big before like you know what I mean, like a triple set, and he did it fucking. Proper. That thing was big, yeah. especially for back then. That yeah. thing was yeah. juicy. Yeah, he was the best. That was like a famous spot to yeah. go get a trick on. Keenan was rad because he loved every type of music, and I would always have the craze electro, and he loved it. Really? 
Oh yeah, I remember playing like when the Daft Punk album came out. He's like, "What is this?" Like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> like when I still hear those songs, I think of him. Yeah. It's so sick. Right. He was like, dude. He would have like his uh, his CD case, and it would have the most insane mix of like Smashing Pumpkins. And then like Mob Deep, and then like some opera, and like dude, he had the craziest selection. Wow! And it was full ADD where he'd put it in, and the song wouldn't finish, and he's ejecting it and putting it in the next one. And I'm trying to drive, and he's like, dude, he was the raddest. Wow! Yeah. Just want to hear like 50 seconds of it, and then yeah. pop it out. Yeah. But you filmed all that footage of him in yeah right in the beginning. Not all of it, uh, but a good chunk of it. Yeah. Yeah. That was so good, dude. So chump on this. What was the Oh, you like you said you wanted a you and Atiba or Akko? Was it Akko or Atiba? Me and Atiba. You and Atiba. I think Akko might have been there. We were in yeah. this bar called Brass Monkey. Okay. <laughs> I remember we were just getting tossed, and we were like, "We should make a skate video." And then it was like, "Yeah, yeah let's call it Chew on this. Let's call it Chomp, Chomp on, on this. this." Right. And then yeah, we woke up the next morning like, "Yep, we're making a video." <laughs> right. <laughs> it was such a good video. Though. Were so, you making it at the same time as Yeah Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. So Yeah so the, Right, the downtime it was like, "Hey, let's go." Well, yeah around. Right was taking a long time to get that motor going mm -hmm. on that vehicle. Yeah. And so Chomp, I think, was a great catalyst mm -hmm. of like... Let's go fuck around. Let's go do this. But then it was like, dude, we would start getting like some good stuff. Eric had finished Minik Mahdi. Mm -hmm. Then it was game on. You know, because it was like, once we had Frosty on board, it was like, okay, everything started going. Right. We were filming for Chomp. People started hearing what Eric was doing, like, oh, fuck, I need to step it up. Some of his stuff from Yeah Right was like when we were filming for Chomp, so he would still do some pretty heavy stuff. Oh, shit. And you just save it. Yeah. How long did you film for Chomp? I don't know, a year, What maybe? happened to Chomp 2? I heard that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, whatever happened so to the You gotta ask my ankle, no, dude. Yeah, <laughs> ask him what happened to Chomp 2. Damn. Did, did, did anything happen with the, uh, the Pac-Man thing? Did you guys get shut down no, for doing that? No. no. Okay, I thought I no. heard something about yeah, that. Yeah, there was like all sorts of Rumor, Pac-Man rumors, yeah. but right. yeah, we're cool you're, with Pac-Man. You were in the clear. <laughs> you were in the clear. Chomp was so fun, man. Yeah. I, I wish, I wish we could do another one, man. You should. You can. I mean, all the I, new I, filmers I, now keep asking. They're like, dude, let's make Chomp on too. Dude, those dudes are are way too good for Chomp. <laughs> Sorry, boys, you ain't getting it. You guys are way too good. What was the idea behind like the, the intro? Like you just, was that your idea to do everybody's part? Like they're doing the gnarliest <sighs> shit and the... It might have been Lee's idea. Fuck, I don't even remember, dude. Maybe, maybe it was Lee's. Yeah. Because it had that, it was a fake zero thrill of it all intro because okay, that's right. how thrill of it all we use the same song i think we use the same font i want to say that was lee's idea uh, pretty foggy yeah. from back then <laughs> but it was done funny i mean it was supposed to be obviously a joke right. but right. i think someone's saying that henry thought gabe's tail slide was real and he was tripping oh, shit. oh really yeah. <laughs> oh dude God. henry's part sick yeah and chomp yeah that was when he was coming back just slain yeah, yeah. he's on fire so yeah. chomp on this too coming soon after uh, flat earth right you're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna do project. what the went the 20 year the 2020 chomp 2020 Imagine chomp with helicopter dude that'd be amazing 21 <laughs> I would love that. Let's see it, dude. In 8K. You know what was crazy is when I did the premiere. Okay. We did it at that place. It's called Avalon. Mm -hmm. But I back was then there. it was it was called. You were at the Trump premiere. Yeah, I was there too. I was there. I was a little kid. Yeah, right. I swear. How old were you? I was like seven, sixteen, seventeen. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking like eight year old no, Kelly no, Hart no, at the no, chomp no. premiere <laughs> with like getting drinks spilled on. Right. Yeah. No, I was definitely fanning out, just going single. Like, I didn't know anyone. I was yeah. just like, holy shit! That was, was a premiere. It was yeah. a fun premiere. It was like a giant party. And then mm. It was raging. Playing. Yeah. But I, I, so that place I think was like ten grand to rent out, if not more, depending on what your event was. So mm -hmm. it could be all the way up to fifteen or twenty. Wow. And I told the chick there, I was like, oh, I got this little skate film. I don't know, maybe a couple hundred people will show up. I'm going to rent a projector. And she's like, all right, we'll give you like, whatever, four grand for the night. And so I paid four grand of my own cash. Okay. I think the other dudes chipped in too. They probably killed at the bar though that night. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but wow. the thing is, is they were understaffed. Oh. And you got to figure staff and all the people. And she freaks out, I guess like like the Vulcan bus is parked out front and there's like it's, dudes hammered fighting and like oh lining up out in the street. And she's like, you said there was gonna be 200 people here. You got like a thousand out front. Get the fuck down here. And I was like, Oh shit. 
Wow. That was like, as I was like on my way down there, I was like, oh, dude, are we going to get shut down? This is sketch. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it'd be that popular. I was like, yeah, yeah, good turnout, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See the positive in it. Yeah. Did you have to pay more? Or was she cool? With it? She was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, dude, in, in, if I was to think of someone that you helped probably the most, I got to say Beeble. Like, I feel like you brought Beeble to this next level. All the videos that you did with him, Beeble's a fucking man. Hell yeah, <laughs> Beeble's so sick. I think Beeble did. Yeah, no, no, but no, Be- for Beeble, sure. Beeble was not afraid to be in front of the camera. No, but you, uh, yeah, you, you feel. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Okay, so I made Modus, and obviously Beeble was a part of that, and I mm-hmm. think everything kind of unfolded from that. Right. Yeah. It wasn't like I got him on Lakai. I got him on Girl. He did all that stuff. I always talk to uh, Shani, and I'm like, dude. What's up with Beeble shutting down if, your if part? Sh- if, Sh- if Shannon had more footage, it never would have happened. Yeah, no, right. I heard Shannon got hurt, but I always joke with him, joke no. with him about that one. The funny thing about Beeble is he's the most amazing skateboarder, hands down, the most amazing pop, trick selection, everything. But his stuff off the board when the camera's in his face is fucking priceless. Oh, yeah. And I feel like yeah. so many people love that shit. Yeah. And back then, he would always, like, he didn't mind me filming that stuff, but when it came to editing, he, he would want- not want me to use anything. <laughs> Only skate tricks. And I'm like, dude, this shit is it's, fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, whenever I would do stuff like that and he would see the edit, he'd be like, no, take this out, take that. And I'd be like, fuck, man. So, like, chomp part, I don't even think he saw it. No, we, just, you would- we just put that bitch out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, check the mustache, the whole yeah, deal. Yeah. Like, that was going in, right? Yeah. When it came to yeah right, I think we had some more stuff like that of him in there, and he got to see his part beforehand and put the kibosh on a lot of it. Right? Oh, I was like, I just want tight skating and tight song. I'm like, fuck, okay. But your personality is so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but, but check this. So when we went and did fully flared, I had a whole part built out to him with the fucking arm, yeah. with with him in the fucking uh, what with him in the raft going down the river. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All, all the crazy shit. All the, him, all like, the, all the tight shit. All that stuff, right? And then I made a red herring part that had way more of that stuff in it, like insanely overload. Yeah. And I showed him the red herring part. <laughs> and then I go, and he's like, oh, dude, I want to take this out. And I was like, okay, okay, yeah, all right, all right, no problem. I was like, go chill out for a second. And he sat there for an hour and I didn't edit at <laughs> all. I just like moved, I moved clips around and showed him the real part. And it's right. the one that get used and fully flared. And he's like, yeah, all right. That, that's tight. That's tight. Yeah. And then, yeah, he was cool with it. Wow. I don't think it's he, a, the arm, he still was over it. He oh, didn't really? want that. And so I think, good, though. I think we agreed that on the DVD, when you click to his part, it would start after his arm and that was his final like okay i'll let you leave it in if it starts wow. after the arm and i fucking forgot to set that chart chapter marker and, and it so starts on it, the right. arm and he never said nothing but sorry beeps that was <laughs> that was straight up an accident yeah. i would have done it if i remembered but dude wow you forget those type of things yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost like bargaining with people you know it's like the uh, totally yeah 25 no I'll give you 15 20, uh, it's psychology yeah. dude. filming and filmmaking <laughs> yeah. and editing it's straight up psychology yeah, seriously. Hey, it worked good though wow. but the well, red, red line, line thing was insane yeah dude we were driving so that was when we got the panasonic cameras and we were filming the panasonic commercials okay. and so i'm just filming b-wall all day i'm driving yeah i pick him up he's so hung over and grumpy he's like, <laughs> he gets in i was like oh great i had that red line sitting there it'd been sitting there for like months in the oh, front wow. of the van you've probably seen oh, that yeah. thing and fucking he's all grumpy and i was like here drink this and he's like ooh starts drinking it dude and then i was like oh shit i get out the camera i'm driving (laughs) and filming him that shit is real yeah like him obviously not the arm yeah yeah yeah. but him like fucking it's starting to kick in like dude that was all hit you hard bro dude that was so insane i'm like oh my god this is the best thing ever i'm like trying to drive and film and be well and then yeah stuff is dangerous the red line thing yeah it'll get you gnarly it hits you hard bro (laughs) (laughs) was there any video that you uh wanted to use a song so bad and you just couldn't do it again the kids think they know everything man yeah. it is like so much shit that goes on behind the scenes I especially with music I bet. and back in the day before the internet and before you could keep track of shit mm-hmm. and when skate videos were in skate shops you could get away with a lot low, low yeah. more yeah and you would get a song by 
contacting someone in the band and being like, hey, can we use this song in a skate video? Like, sure, go for it. Mm-hmm. Now, good luck. Yeah. yeah. Good luck doing that. Right. You got to check every box and make damn sure you have all the boxes that you need checked. Right. So, I don't know. There's music rights. Mm-hmm. There's territories. There's usage. There's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes. It's not Jeez. like... Oh, you just pave and you have a song. Right. No. And you there's, can have that there's song for publish- six months or there's whatever. There's terms, yeah. there's publishing, there's writers, there's so much stuff that goes on behind mm-hmm. the scenes. And even like, let's say, yeah, right, a lot of that stuff was cleared, but then they signed the deal with Warner Brothers, which had Rhino that was distributing the, the film and they needed to clear for different territories and different usage. So you had to go back and clear songs and certain songs that were cleared before you can't clear for this usage, hence you have to change the music. Jeez. Meanwhile, the kid that doesn't know anything was like, the first version's better, and it's like, dude, you have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, right. like the know. ones that they sold in the in the stores. The mask, like, uh, like the mask, uh, Best Buy, the ma- best yeah, yeah, buy. yeah, the best. That right. one was had distribution from, uh, I believe it was Warner Brothers, right? A rhino but it had totally different remember. music right it was because like it was whole, different yeah. distribution different terms different Crazy. territories where before you're making for skate shops right yeah. big difference yeah compared to yeah and that was right when all this started happening man the internet has changed everything man yeah. shit used to be the wild west yeah so, a lot more it's like dude you probably got flagged for putting a song on your instagram account for a video i have so, there you yeah. go Think how jacked that yeah. is. <laughs> that is so stupid. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And now you need to like clarify if you're advertising something. It's insane. It's yeah. nuts. I yeah. hate it. Yeah. I've dude, you remember they used to call me the Insta police? Oh yeah. Yeah. I hate social media. Right. I hate all of that stuff. And I finally gave into it. Mm-hmm. And before I was always like, Oh, I've had a website, I can put videos on, right. I can do all this. Why would I need to do that? It got to the point where I had to do it. People yeah. were like, you need to do this. There's no one to... visiting your site anymore. Huh? Because there's like no one visiting your site anymore. No, yeah. no way. No one goes yeah. to the fucking websites yeah. unless you're like an amazing site like Thrasher yeah. or something yeah. like yeah. that. But like a personal blog. Good luck with your Tumblr. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude. And I feel like even like Instagram and all this stuff, like the days are numbered, man. Yeah. yeah. So... I've realized that like, okay, I have to do this Mm -hmm. and and I play that game and uh, it works for me. And even like on my new film, I'm have no marketing, but we're doing it through the dudes and their social media. And Mm -hmm. you know, I'm here talking about the film with you guys and thrashers helping out. So I think there's ways of using this right now and I know it's not going to last forever. So I'm just trying to be part of this wave that's going on and, Dude, it's so crazy, man. If you go back, like I went back and looked at some of the interviews where I was talking about the future and talking about how videos are going to be downloaded and how it'll be HD and everyone will have have a network connected to a network to your TV and all this stuff. It's like, dude, that shit is fucking real now. Yeah. Today, it yeah. is so <laughs> crazy. Yeah. And, and you can actually make a living off of it and you guys are doing the nine club yeah. and these dudes we're, are doing we're this. not making a living off this so <laughs> yeah. Wait, you, but you're we're working do- on it yeah, we're, we're working on, on it. it but we're doing it yeah. like yeah. any you could do anything but, but you, you want to do this you is a hobby. Do it. but like right. you guys have nine club gear yeah kids can go out there and buy the gear For sure yeah. and it's like right. that it's like now the keys to the castle are in our hands yeah. and how do we use it exactly mm-hmm. you know right and it's not going to keep lasting. You don't think so? Well, I it'll go, but it's going to change. And what do you think is going to change? I have no fucking clue. Well, it's going to ch- something's going to pop up, right? Well, something's going to change. It, it has to, it's right? It's interesting because the model was making these videos mm-hmm. and selling VHSs. Right. Yep. Then you had to adapt and do DVDs. Yeah. And then there came the whole shift with higher definition and better image quality and can you make Blu-rays with and your better image? And also then there was a part where you can rip DVDs and put them on the internet. work against it. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, from there it goes to streaming and then it goes to, do you still buy something hmm? on but iTunes? Also BitTorrent and or, else. or do you split oh. it up and put it on a skate website? Yeah. You know, and right. it's like all these different factors or even like when, when like the movie studios got hacked and their films get released before they come out. It's like, dude, there's so much crazy shit out there. I have no idea what the future is. Before, it looked pretty clear. What we're at right now yeah. looked very clear to me like 10 years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. And you know why? Because of the damn iPod. Oh, right. Everybody's that was the model, them. and that was around however long ago, 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Right? Easy, was it around? Yeah. And it was like, okay. And, and well, I you saw watching that. watching videos on the iPod. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew. I was like, okay. 
video is going to be that same model. It's yeah. going to take forever, but you know, seeing YouTube go from like sketchy three, like two forty p, two forty p, or one gnarly compression, yeah. <laughs> to like what it is now. Like I think they have eight k YouTube, and wow. it's nuts. It, it's insane yeah. that all this is starting to come around now. Yeah, it's a trip, but I don't know what the future is, dude. Right, but right. let's just ride this bitch out. Well, what do you? How do you? I mean, <laughs> since, since we're on the subject, how do you feel about the whole Instagram and, and skate videos and the whole? I mean, you just came out with the skate video, and also people just ripping your videos uh, and put them online. Yeah, like what? Yeah, it's it's a love hate relationship. Okay, I think there there's great things we can talk about and there's terrible things we can talk well, let's about. talk about the terrible ones first oh yeah <laughs> so, so the glass is half full right yeah. uh, let's fix the problem somehow well, okay no, well, I let, mean, let's look know. let's look at fully flared yeah. okay okay one of the best-selling skate films of the time over a hundred thousand copies if not more mm-hmm. oh big selling film what year did that come out 2007 okay company invested a ton of money into it Mm -hmm. hopefully would make the money back by selling so many copies people would go out and buy the shoes right gotcha when that first came out there was someone that ripped it and put it on a site Mm. and a lot of people watched it that way i don't know how many people watched that and instead didn't go buy the film who knows Mm -hmm. but that was the beginning in my eyes like well okay this is really affecting this i wonder how much yeah. Of the sales that affected. Right, yeah. right. You know, and how many uh, kids didn't buy that video because they ripped it on a bit turn or whatever? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and then it's like the kids are like, Well, it should be free and this and that, mm-hmm. which is great, but not when you're spending X amount of dollars and you're trying to sustain a business. Yeah. Right. You know, and then I don't know, I, I think there's so many ways to look at it, but in order to progress and move forward with this shit, it has to have that side to it. Yeah. For sure, yeah. right? There's, there's no getting around it. So yeah. that's, that's, that's the bed that we're lying in right now, mm-hmm. man. And it's, there's, I don't care whatever the future is, which I have no idea. Twenty years from now, how all of this is even going to work? But that <laughs> no. side of things, guarantee, will be there, straight Blade Runner style. Like, yeah, there'll always be that side to it. Well, there's mm-hmm. the kids, like you said, that that that, that expect stuff to be free <laughs> because yeah. they've grown up in the free world. They've grown up and, and they've, learned, to hack, they've learned to hack their whole life. Yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, dudes that are our age and stuff, like, yeah, we'll buy a skate video. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. we'll, I mean, even kids. I bought a Thresher today. Yeah. Kids too. Like, I mean, they'll yeah. buy one, but uh, it's just a weird, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to make of it. You know? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a double edged sword, man. I don't think like a lot of skateboarders out there really have any money. And so they're just kind of like, Dude, I just want to get for free. Yeah, you know, no for sure. Money. I know, but for sure. I mean, and I totally understand that. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Okay, but like, how? I don't know. Well, when I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of money. You know, I was a kid, but somebody in my crew would have bought the video yes. and, and, and we would go watch it together yeah. you know yeah. so 100%. somebody was buying it yeah. you know it wasn't uh-huh. just this lone wolf like i don't have any money yeah dude yeah. one of your one, boys one, one person buys has and money. nine people get to see it yeah, yeah. yeah. no for sure I, I just feel like that's the the reasoning i think these kids might use or something like that yeah. i don't i have no idea I mean, what, 12 I, how much is flat earth you're selling it for what is it how many copies uh, you, of flat earth you need to sell in order to break even that's a great point, and my wife would really like to know the answer. To that. <laughs> uh, I will know when I when it comes to do taxes and I add up everything. I haven't even kept track of how much cash, but I know it is a lot of fucking. It's money. all out of your own pocket, right? Out of my own pocket. My American Express bill is huge right wow. now. I funded the whole film on my own. No one came in, and but you had a lot of people provide help. you with gear. Gear. Oh. I've been very fortunate to develop relationships with like Shot Over and Free Fly and Red. Mm-hmm. Have these people help me out has helped tremendously to be able to make a film of this caliber. Yeah. But gasoline, oh. hotels, plane tickets, yeah. blowing an engine in the middle of Utah. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, whatever shit else you want adds up say. real quick. Yeah. Oh my God. One Hard trip. Hard drives, everything else. I mean, I don't know, dude. It's like a lot of fucking cash. And the craziest thing about it is like, some of these skate companies go, oh, doesn't make sense for us to make full-length videos. We're just going to let whatever guy wants to do film a video part. Sure. That's bullshit. It's a cop-out. It's a full cop-out. Yeah. Skateboarding companies have been based on these full-length films. That's mm-hmm. true. 
you guys need to go out there and still do them. Yeah. And the fact that you're letting your guys go out and do these solo parts is jacked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're basically putting the, the pressure on them. And they're relieving, like, okay, we're not going to spend X amount of dollars on this. The thing is, though, man, is, like, let's say however many dollars are spent on making these films where they say it's this huge, giant amount of money. I know how much, roughly, I spent on this film. And it was a lot of fucking cash. I spent this out of my own money. I don't have any sort of skateboard or shoe or anything like that I'm trying to move out of it. I'm trying to break even, right. make my cash back, and give these dudes a platform to make their own careers on. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. Well, so, we've all seen the film, and you did every one of those dudes like justice. Like They all crushed it. Yeah. Oh, they all I mean, they did it justice. It wasn't me. Yeah, right? yeah, I but mean, I'm like... Well, you, you make made, them look better. You made, you made them look yeah. so goddamn good yeah, with yeah. the equipment you use and <laughs> but, your but, editing but technique. Think, but like, think of how crazy it is that companies now are like, oh, it's not a viable business model. Right. These companies have product that they're fucking too, the same selling. Time. Yeah. I don't have shit that I'm selling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to pay off my Amex bill. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think it'll be a really cool experiment to mm. see, do you guys buy it? Do right. you guys go out and buy the film? I don't know. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's see if I'm if I'm broke and need to go back and yeah. figure out other ways to get my cash back. Right. I don't care. Right. But the fact that these companies are like, oh, it doesn't make sense for us to do these projects. It's like, okay, Bullshit. that's the biggest crock of fucking shit that I've heard. Mm-hmm. If I could go do this on my own on an Amex card yeah. of this caliber and a company can't make a full length video, let alone use that tool to promote their products, there's something wrong there. Yeah. Right, right. So... I don't know, but I know the single parts do make sense when you have a company of like 50 people. For sure. You're not going to make For a sure. video with 50 people, right. but yeah. at the same time, who's to say you can't grab 10 of those 50 and make an amazing make full length? Yeah. But at the same time too, it's like the the companies, I, I feel like they're kind of giving in to like what's going on. Like, oh, well, kids attention yeah, span. Just, 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 this and that. just post an Instagram just, video. Yeah, post an, it's just like, yeah. well, what happened to this world of skateboarding that we lived in? You know what I mean? Like, is it just, do we live on Instagram now? Like, People what is, what, like, well, what, I, like what? I, I love seeing that stuff still. And like someone like a Jamie Foy oh, got yeah. brought to my attention because of that. Right. You know, and so again, it's that love hate. It's like, there is. There you go. Like those dudes kill that side of it mm-hmm. oh totally but the fact that like yeah, oh all their warm-ups. I, i'm only doing instagram or i'm only doing my solo part i think is bullshit yeah. and that all these other companies are just fully copping out by not doing the full lengths man right, right. well a lot of skaters too they're all very selfish in some ways they just want to put Build that part out of themselves you it's know? hard though dude yeah. i mean they don't, don't want to wait for that. someone else to be like well, I'm ready to put my part on now. My footage yeah, is three right. years old. Yeah. But dude, I understand that dynamic. Yeah. Like, yeah. think about Pretty Sweet. Oh, yeah. Dudes were dusted. Yeah. Right. Dusted. They don't want to do video parts, mm-hmm. but then the young guys do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, well, is this guy going to film a part? You know? And it's like, that dynamic does suck. You work for a company. Yeah. You're supposed to film a part. Maybe you, like a Mark who's done 20 of them. He's mm-hmm. burnt out by my whole yeah. workflow. And it, it's hard for the dudes. Right. I get it. It's I see that side. It's not the pressure they put on themselves to outdo themselves for too. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I totally get it. And I know it's more than just like, oh, Ty's crazy. He says we all should keep making full lengths. I get that. But grab your young dudes, make a full length with them or whatever. It's, I don't know. There's yeah. just still so many more options, man. Yeah. I agree. It's hard, dude. How hard was making videos with me? It's hard, right? No, it's t- it's t- well, it's not it, though. It's a double it, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you've you, been through right. the ringer with me, right? Right? Like right. towards the end, pretty sweet. You're like, oh my god, again. They can put themselves in that situation, no. like, like yeah, you're gonna be out till four in the morning trying to get a clip, but you're like you're you're setting up lights and everything else like that. Like, all right, you're there, you're available for these guys to 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 do what they're supposed to do. If they don't want to do it, they can take a fucking cab home. You which, know, like, which they will sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've seen like, many people now, disappear. Now it's Ubers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish we had Ubers back then. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, that would change the whole Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You just blew my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 4 a.m. Yeah. in Salt Lake. Where's at Roberts? Some Metal Edge. Roberts is gone in the Dude, lift. We were there oh, to 8 in the morning. In the Uber. Yeah, Uber, hotel. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, no. we would have lost half that crew that night. Yeah. Man. But the, you're doing this for all of them, though. Like, this is yeah. their time to fucking really do what they want to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I think there's two. It gives people the opportunity to go. Yeah, I do think what they there's want to do. two dynamics though. There's 
Ty that works for a company, these dudes skate for the company. Mm -hmm. They need to film a video part versus a project I just made right now, grabbing some dudes, young, hungry, down to get dirty. Let's go make something. That's yeah. such two different dynamics. It's yeah. like True. high school and college, right? The high schooler has to go and the college person probably wants, wants to, to be, be there. there. Think of someone like Jamie or Chase or I mean, Anyone all the guys, all the guys in the videos. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of what they've been building up for. Like, right. okay, the chance to be in a project of this scale, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and me being as old as I am still able to do this. And these dudes are down to do it. I was like, okay, this is fucking insane. How good these dudes are. And oh, they're yeah. down to be in this film. Right. Yeah. And everyone's like, Oh, is this your last film? I don't know, dude. I yeah. would love to keep doing these things. Is there a whole nother crop of dudes that are down to do one once I pay off my credit oh, card bill? Yeah, sure there will is. be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll All make right. a list for you right now. I'll give All you some right. names, dude. All right. <laughs> and, and, All right. And let me get a trick in the next one. Man. All right. I, well, I was waiting for the call the whole year, man. Can't shoot that iPad yeah. and AK. <laughs> but the thing is for the video, though, like when, for your premiere, I cannot wait for these guys to see their own parts. Oh. They yeah. are going to like, I, they haven't gonna seen cry. them. They're going to cry. So Chase, <laughs> Chase has so seen an unfinished version of his part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cody has not seen his part. Paluzzi has seen an unfinished version of his part. Uh, who else? Jamie has not seen his part. And Carlos has not seen his wow. part. Wow. And I was with all the dudes the other day. And I was like, do you guys want to see your part? And they're like, no, we've waited this long now. We're just going to wait till the premiere. <laughs> oh, wow. And, but like, they haven't even seen the intro, any Nothing. of the in-between stuff. They've you just got, seen the Instagram stuff that we've seen. The only I mean, people who've seen the video are you guys. Wow. That's and like a couple guys that helped me work on it. Well, I, f I actually filmed it with my Periscope eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> you got there. me talking about there. the future. Yeah. 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 So, so that's what we got to look out for, Roberts. <laughs> no, but that, that, that's amazing, dude. I felt like I was at a premiere at your house. Yeah. I was like, we, he had the sound bar and the dude. whole thing. And the, the 12K TV was crazy. 12, 12, 12K <laughs> dude, OLED? The thing was paper thin, this yeah. TV. <laughs> I don't even know where to go get one of those. Those blacks look nice. Jesus Christ. But dude, you got some but, crazy yeah. shots of like life in that yeah, video. Yeah, there's some heavy stuff in it, man. There's some dude. really heavy stuff. Your Idiot. montage of, was it Cambodia or India? Where, where was it? it? It's all that stuff. Really? Yeah, it's like all yeah. that. And you kept cutting back and forth to, it seemed like LA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the message there? So Carlos always talks about Vita Loca. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's no secret how crazy it is growing up there. No. If I had a budget and my American Express was a little bit bigger, I would have flown to Brazil and filmed the most insane shit there possible and then yeah. cut to Carlos open his eyes. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that opportunity, mm -hmm. but I did, over the course of filming this film, film a lot of heavy things mm -hmm. that I thought could Just people in the streets. lead into Carlos opening his eyes. Yeah. Carlos is amazing, man. He's one of... He feels like he's straight out of the 90s. He's so <laughs> fucking dope, man. So sick. His skating is so sick. Yeah. And the stuff that goes through his head, like he's very emotional when he skates in a good way mm -hmm. and also in a bad way. If oh. there's like good vibes going on, he's going to like he's be just... smiling, killing it. But if there's something crazy going on, it's definitely distracting for him, Dranger. which I've seen other people, a lot of people have that as well. And, and, for me, I was like, how could we show what's going on in his head a little bit, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So that was the best I could do with so what was I like, was working with. Did you ever get but, like in this crazy situation filming that stuff? The shot over is crazy looking already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, it looks like a cannon. You know what's nuts, man, is a lot of times you'll be filming and people are just staring into it and you get the raddest shots of people just dead being stare. genuine like right. there's one shot where we shot in india where the guy is just looking into it that mm. just looks so i don't know man it's hard to describe but <laughs> the that segment i mean a lot of the films i've done over the years i like stirring mm. shit up mm -hmm. whether it be with music and visuals and it's so funny man like people watching that film would be like that film was cool but except for that weird ass fucking no, but like when Crazy I watch, when shit. I, when I watch that, that part, whatever, I'm just like, the world is fucked. Yeah, That's the feeling I had. I was like, dude, like our world is completely fucked up. I yeah. filmed, that's stuff that I filmed over the last year mm -hmm. making this film. Crazy. Whether it be driving across the US or traveling to any of these other places. And I don't know, I wanted a platform to show that stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and Buddy Pierce made some amazing music to fit it. And mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought, I thought it was 
pretty cool to put all that in there. Yeah. You know, and I know that there's the people that just want skateboarding right. and music. So you can and hit they're the skip button. Absolutely hate it. And yeah, you can hit the skip button. <laughs> as long as I got that chapter, chapter marker, marker right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get the chapter. Well, the first yeah. time you, I mean, you start watching it, you can't take your eyes off the video, dude. Well, it's, it's so I, remember, yeah. I remember you watching that section and when it was done, you're like, fuck, that was heavy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but Shake it goes it right into skating right after that. Yeah. You're like, oh shit. But it puts you in a new mood right away. But there's obviously all the other shit in the film too, oh. where there'd be crazy shit in the opening with all the 360 cameras oh, and just visually yeah. melts your brain. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe people need a barf bag at the premiere <laughs> <laughs> or like some dramamine yeah. I, I seriously if you're gonna go watch that film i feel like you need to take shrooms or like Ooh. because if you do Ooh. that you go I, li I like where you're going <laughs> keep talking well originally we we're gonna I, call I, the I, film I, I acid have, in the I mirror to, right yeah. i might have to go there I me and me shrooms it went public yeah. would i know oh my god Roger. me and kelly will sit in I the might, yeah. Yeah. we'll sit a, in the might different get a little row. weird at the premiere pretend we don't know him kelly yeah definitely <laughs> but uh, but all the other shots too. I mean, you had like these cinematic like go over over the buildings. Yeah. You know, it was like I'm watching a movie. I mean, dude, sitting there f flying with this camera system, mm -hmm. filming is the best thing. In it's the gonna be. I get the chills the thinking about yeah. it, dude. It is so goddamn fun, and it is the next level as far as filming in my eyes and. I mean, obviously, it's hard to film skateboarding from a helicopter, yeah. <laughs> but but some of the There's shots in there give you an idea oh of like, I mean, visually, you can see how amazing it is, let alone when you're up there filming it. Right. it there's nothing like that, but man. But let me ask you a question. You're, you're looking into a screen and controlling this yeah. camera, right? Yeah. I mean, are you even in getting in to enjoy the ride? You know, you're I'm just the, focused like you're on getting the shot. Getting it's the very, I don't want to say stressful. I'm like uber, uber focused. Right. Like my body posture is super weird. Okay. Do you get vertigo a, though? No. No? Uh-uh. I'm just super focused and I'm like looking at my screen and then I'm communicating with the pilot and the pilot has a screen as well and he's looking at what I'm filming oh, okay. Oh, okay. and he kind of sees like, oh, okay, I see where this dude's going with this and he's moving the helicopter. The oh. thing is, is you have the two skids underneath and then the shot over on the front. Now, if you turn the camera, you're going to get the, the skids. skids. Yeah. So a good pilot will crab, yeah. which is where he he's flying forward. Around. He goes left and right, and that's called crabbing. Mm -hmm. oh. So a good pilot will crab for some of your shots, and you will never Have see Have there it. ever been pilots where you're like, God damn it, this pilot. Like, I, wish yeah. I need another pilot. Like For sure, Really? Dude. Yeah. I mean, dude, aerial pilot. Like, Do you have one do you guys use all the time? Yeah. Kevin LaRosa is okay. one of the most amazing pilots, and John Tamburo. Wow. They're both amazing pilots. John Tamburo's son. I met John when I was filming We Are Blood. This is a good story. <laughs> You're like lighting up right now. You're yeah, like excited. This is one. fucking an amazing story. Okay, so check this out. When I was doing We Are Blood, mm -hmm. I had a producer that would come into the editing room and make sure I was in there editing every day, make sure the five other dudes in there were editing and we were all on schedule. By this date, we had to have this segment done, this and that. So I leave one day to go film Jordan. Okay. Maxim try to frontside flip El Toro. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. From a helicopter. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> this is getting to helicopter. Okay. So I come back. Everyone's like, oh, how'd it go? Like, oh, I didn't get it. Like, we're going to go back tomorrow and try it again. The producer's like, what do you mean go back? Like, you tried it. Like, you need to be in here editing. And it turned into like this big thing, right? Then, I don't know if you remember the very first shot of Tori at the beginning of We Are Blood where I show all the traffic and then Tori's the going, going over the 101 on the freeway overpass and then he does a tray flip mm. and then he 50-50s that bar. I'd filmed that on the Cineflex. That was one of the very first things I filmed like a year before, but it was 1080 and we were mastering the film 4K and we had the new shot over with 4K. I was like, dude, I want to go refilm that. So, And I knew it was going to be the very first skate trick mm. in the film. So I hit up Tori like, hey, dude, can we go back and refilm that? And he's like, I'm down. Wow. And that thing was insane to do the coordination. We had to have walkie talkies. Yeah, I, was gonna I say, had to yeah. call it. And then, uh, dude, it was crazy. Cause you're like, driving. We're driving. I eventually got to the part where got, you know, got like to the point. White where, Oak and then going back to Balboa. Yes. Wherever it is. Yes. Yeah. And then when I went under a bridge, I would start counting 10, nine, eight, and oh. then Tori would throw the board down try his trick miss and fucking freak out and i'd look up and see him throwing Throws his board <laughs> <laughs> and so dude that took forever right so anyways i tell the producer i'm gonna go back 
to film that, he tells me I can't. I end up going anyways, and it turns into like this big thing oh. where another producer's on the phone telling me that I need to buckle down, film. I end up freaking out, punching a wall, break my hand. Oh, I'm just pissed. Shit. I'm like, dude, I know what I'm doing. Let me do this. Yeah. yeah. So it turned into a thing where I'm like, okay, I can't tell this dude what I'm doing. If I'm getting... Oh. You like, when you finish a film, you need to get those last-minute shots. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Tie it all together. So, it got to the point where I needed to go back and film Jordan, Frontside Flip El Toro. Uh-huh. And I also needed to go film aerials for the intro, which showed Los Angeles and all the all the different buildings and okay. downtown, which was for the beginning of the film when Paul's describing Los mm-hmm. Angeles. Mm-hmm. So, I told everyone there in the editing room they were in on this. Okay. I was like, hey... I'm going to come in and basically I need to get out of here so I can go film these aerials, right? And I had a, I think at one o'clock I was supposed to be in the air. So I come in there at like 11. Go in the bathroom, guys. I go into the bathroom. I take water, splash it on my face and I take my palms and I push my palms into my eyeballs as hard as I can. This is like you're trying to get out of, out of class or something. And dude, I come walking into the room and burst through the door like, Ugh. and I sit down and they're like, what's up? I was like, oh, I was here all night. I feel like shit throw my shit down turn on the computer and then like the producer's like whoa he's looking kind of crazy and then (laughs) just like i'm like huffing and puffing and like complaining to myself right and then and then one of the all the editors were in on it except the producer and they're like hey dude you should probably just go home and get some rest i'm like no no no, i'm cool and then they kept pushing it like dude why don't you go home for a couple hours and then the producer's like yeah man you look crazy like I think you should go home, sleep up, and then come back. And I was like, okay, all right, I'll get out of here. (laughs) So I get out, dude. I shut the door, and I'm instantly like, run it. Yeah, dude, I get in my my truck, skirt, skirt out. (laughs) Go to the Van Nuys Airport, jump in the helicopter. I went and filmed all the aerials downtown LA. Come back, pull the card, put the card in my pocket, come back, come back in. Like, oh, I feel so much better. I'm like looking around, boom, put the card in, dump the footage. Wow. How insane. long did it take you to film the aerials? I was in the air, I don't know, hour and a half. That's it. Did it feel weird sneaking around? I was gonna, it felt weird? We're, we're going to film that you pretty much... Yeah, but these are them? all people that do not understand skateboarding. Yeah, right. I understand so that. To all of us, that, we they, know they, how they, important... They understand yeah. that like, it's your film. We all know how important it would have been if Jordan Frontside flipped El Toro. Of course. Or Hell for yeah. me, how important right. it was to go film those aerials for the beginning of the video. Yeah. Producer is just another skate trick. Just like, another, just, like oh, another, yeah, yeah, you didn't get it, all right, you're not going out again. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wow. But that dude yeah, was hella does. cool. Yeah. If you're watching this, JJ, you ruled. But. <laughs> Did he find out later that you... Uh... Well, he just found out right oh, okay. now. I was watching it. <laughs> <laughs> but I went, I went and snuck out probably like eight times on you. You didn't know it. What's your like, when someone's like, hey, I want to go fucking front front side crook el toro you're just like well with that <laughs> well with, okay so with the end of we are blood we had a group text we are blood was interesting because there's no video parts right and so whenever i would hit people up like dude you want to come film for this video there's no video parts no pressure it was like super mellow okay right? and it was like oh let's go to dubai like it was such a mellow experience when yeah. it comes to the pressure cooker of a right. video and video parts yeah. and enders and all that stuff, right? Um, so at the end, it was like, well, fuck, how are we ending this thing? Like we had the whole Paul pushing down right. with all the thousands of kids behind him on the yeah. bridge, but we still like, oh, I was like, oh, I want some sort of like good trick to end it with. Mm. And so we had a group text from when we went out to Dubai and I was like, hey, I I need to enter for the film. What's up? And then everyone responded, Jordan, Frontside Flip El Toro. Oh. And Jordan was on and he was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then I was like, what's up? And then I like, hit him separately. Like, do you think you want to do it? Right. And he's like, I mean, I'm down. Because he had tried it before. Oh. Damn. So that's how that went down. Okay. Mm-hmm. With Jamie... And and the front crook. The front crook, right. We all know how insane his front crook is. Oh, yeah. And, Pinched. And while we were filming the video, it was always like, what rail are you going to front crook? And that was the ongoing joke, mm-hmm. was El Toro. But then it kind of got serious, and then he was like, I think I can do it. And then it was like, it just kind of happened. Like, all right, you really want to try it? And he was like, I think so. And then... Yeah, I was like, okay, well, let me see if I can get someone from Thrasher to come, shoot a photo. And then I was like, okay, this is the date. When we set the date and he had to go back to Florida. It's funny, when we did our last trip, uh-huh. Jamie dipped out. Well, didn't, didn't dip, dip out, sorry. We got back from our last trip. I started editing. Okay. 
he pretty much filmed that whole death wish part that just came out on thrash really he filmed that in like i don't know i mean he had other stuff but yeah. he just he's like oh dude i gotta film this thrasher thing sorry man so he like finished filming for flat earth wow did all that stuff for that death wish thrasher part went to florida that was when the hurricane was coming out mm. there helped his mom with the hurricane made yeah. it through that filmed out there did like 50 50 on that kink rail out there did all this crazy stuff then he flies back, and a couple of days later was when we went to El Toro, and they did Jeez. the front row. <sighs> and when we when we got there, dude, it was so mellow. We got there, and like Jamie and Chase, we get there, they just start jumping on it. Not even just not even like cameras up, like fifty, 50 lip slide. Side, yeah. <laughs> They're skating it together. Like they Jamie's like, fifteen it, and Chase's lip slide. They were just like sessioning, they, like they were just playing. Yeah, because right? yeah, like, Jamie like, had front like, Jamie had front feebled it another like maybe uh, a month a right? month before, and Jamie's just like, I don't know, man. This rail, it's El Toro, but it feels cool. Like I'm digging it. Like wow. they're dude. These kids they're, today are insane. They're yeah. just jumping on this shit, and then. He was kind of like, all right, I think I'm, I'm just going to do it. Are you guys cool? You guys ready? And I looked around <laughs> and I had 10 cameras going or however many it was. Yeah. Like, yeah, all right, you guys good? Yep, 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 yep. Like, all right, yeah, we're good. He's like, all right, let me roll up to it a couple times. Rolled up to it and he's like, all right, I think I'm just going to do it. You guys good? <laughs> like a final one? Like, yep, rolled up, did it first go. <laughs> Crazy. That's so nuts. First <laughs> try, like perfect. Now, does that make you nervous when they do it yes. first try? Because yes. you, 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 you haven't even <laughs> set up your goddamn shot. Dude, first try tricks are so sketchy to film because you're hoping you don't blow it because... Yeah. Those first couple of tries, you you're, get the you're motions, gaining your right? bearings. You you're the, figuring yeah. out, like, okay, this is what I need to do here. Practice. And yeah. with all these contraptions, oh yeah, <laughs> you better get it right yeah. if it's yeah. first try, because there's a with lot like a to go wrong. Or whatever else, yeah. yeah. And I mean, the last thing you want to do is ask Jamie to do a front crook again. Yeah. 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 Sorry, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so the funny thing is, he could though. I, no, I know he could. But, you know, but, but I will say, with them sessioning it, yeah. We were getting everything figured out, so by the time he was ready, we were you good. You were already good, yeah. right. But, wow. I mean, yeah, there's been a couple of times dudes have done stuff first try over the years that it's, it's yeah, you botch it. <laughs> you botch <laughs> I it. I bet. But, the, I mean, dude, with something of that scale, you want to do it first try. For sure, 100%. Yeah. Is there anything that somebody's come to you and said, hey, I want to do this, and you're like, what? Are you... You I mean, crazy? Crazy? do you want to die? Yeah, what, what? I think the level of skating now is getting so insane how big this stuff is doing and how yeah. dangerous it is. Like, dudes are getting smoked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smoked. Just like, some I've filmed those... some, like, pretty heavy stuff these last couple months where, like, dudes could have got really, really hurt. Yeah. Right. And I've filmed some stuff where dudes have gotten hurt, and it sucks. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, like, it's getting so crazy now, man. Yeah. And there's the technical side of skateboarding – which is amazing mm -hmm. and dudes are progressing that so insane and it's a lot fucking safer the yeah big stuff these dudes are doing it's like we still don't know what that limit is is there a limit who knows it's gonna keep going yeah yeah it's fucking crazy yeah. it's nuts that birdhouse it, video they fucking did some heavy shit in that oh that video is so insane it raised yeah. a bar for sure but even in your video though you I have know, a was, montage of like gnarly, gnarly. falls and that was heavy. I was heavy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I usually, I don't like watching those. I need an Epsom yeah, salt yeah, bath. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you, I never even said that. Yeah. Right after. Yeah, I felt yeah. they, they would, those dudes but yeah. slam dudes, hard. I think that's one of the most amazing things about this film is that yeah. aside from all the amazing gear and how, how it looks, everything mm. else, and doing it on my own, I'm just so blown away by how hard these dudes went and the level yeah. of skating that they put into this fucking thing. Yeah. That's what's nuts. Yeah. And for them to do that and now see them move on on their skate career their and journey, everything else yeah. is fucking dope, man. Sick. I love being a part of that. And I love that you just did the film just to do it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's it's not like you had like all these sponsors come in yeah. and hey, we want to do another yeah. film. It's like, no, 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 here's my Amex card. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. Like that's Yeah unbelievable i just don't know how long i can keep doing this yeah who yeah. knows but you love it though i, I want, mean obviously i want to keep doing it yeah. forever right i mean dude i'm 43 that's fucking old <laughs> in in skate years, skate years. oh yeah, skate, yeah. Right. dude i am ancient right so i don't know how i got away with pulling off another one with the level of skating that these dudes put into it well, you're and Ty it, Evans. Well, that's great, but dude, <laughs> I'm 43 and getting old. And so, I don't know, man, if there's another batch out there 
that want to do another one, I would love to do another one. If if financially this makes sense, right. I don't know. Well, like if it doesn't and I, I am broke forever yeah. and need to spend the next two years making my money back, then maybe I won't do another one. But if it makes sense and I can just keep doing these yeah. and at least making my cash back, right. cool. Yeah. Because I love, this is what I do on my fucking time off. Like <laughs> I go do non-skate shit to pay the bills mm-hmm. and I love doing that because mm-hmm. I learn and it's fun to do it and, it and I'll go well. do commercial work. It mm-hmm. pays well. You meet amazing people. Yeah. I don't know. That, that stuff's fun to do. I yeah. like doing non-skate commercial work to pay the bills. Right. And then when I grab all the gear, grab the van and go drive across the U.S. for a month, dude, I'm on vacation making a film with these dudes. It's, it's, like, it's like the cops show yeah. up, they're like looking at all the gear and they're just like what are you guys doing i'm like oh we're on vacation man <laughs> <laughs> they're like what do you what vacation i was like yeah we're I'm, I'm a film director i make films on, on my off time yeah. these are aspiring pro skaters and we're just cruising around the u.s filming wow. skateboarding making a little skateboard they're film like, with this gear yeah. but i mean like, dude roberts yeah i'm not lying no yeah, I'm, I'm not grabbing these right. dudes yeah. i'm grabbing some gear and i'm going across the world right Making a skate film for fun, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. paying off my damn Amex bill. Am I lying to the cop? No, True story. no you're not. But I okay. mean, I, I could just imagine the cop is like, "What the fuck? What's this helicopter?" Yeah, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it cost me three hundred bucks to get up in the air. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Because remember before when you get kicked out and the cops like, "Who's in charge?" And we're all, just "Oh like, yeah, what?" Are I don't in know. Charge. Now yeah. it's like I walk up. I'm like, "Hey, sir, I'm I'm in charge. This is all my gear. This is what I do on the off time. I'm making a skate." Film. Film. I know we shouldn't be here. I totally apologize. Like, we'll get out of here. Like, you're just, really good with the cops. Do you though. think yeah, we could get you... maybe like five more minutes? But, dude, a lot of the times, dude, I, I think now it's probably because we're older mm-hmm. and the cops. And they knows. probably skated at one point in time. Sometimes, but I think also yeah. it's like I'm diffusing the situation, owning up to like, instead of, I don't know, oh, we can't do it here. It's yeah, like, like, yes, I know we can't do it here. I apologize. Yeah. Right. Can you give us five more minutes? Or we'll pack it up. We'll get out of here. Yeah. Thanks, man. They deal with yeah. bullshit you know, every and, day. And dude, that approach helps. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. And you know what else is funny is like you'll have kids chime in like, uh, Ty's crazy for making We Are Blood and showing the rest of the world how skating is. Like we want skating for ourselves, this and that. Do you know how many times I've gotten kicked out now and they're like, oh, are you filming for that King of the Road? No. Because if you guys were with King of the Road, I'd let you stay. Yeah. Really? I mean, dude, <laughs> you can battle all you want about right. it opens skate eyes. versus non-skate and putting it out there. Mm-hmm. Spreading that shit and putting it out there is helping for the better yeah. of skateboarding. Right. I don't care what anyone's argument is. It's like, oh, skating's mine and it shouldn't be this dude's yeah, and it, it's yeah, this yeah. way. Like, you think it's bad right now? Wait till fucking 2020. Yeah. Good luck with the Olympics. Oh, yeah. Have fun watching that. <laughs> if you're going to keep skateboarding yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be insane. I can't wait to watch that whole. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're hyped on it. I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna be. And I'm not talking about the Olympics. No, I'm talking about everything that's gonna go on around. Oh, it. you mean like little sideshow cheese? The scandals, I mean, dude. The it's scandals. gonna be. Yeah. There's gonna be. I mean, I, sure. I ain't saying that. That's what you're saying, but I'm just scandals. saying it is gonna. Be so much like producers out there. You want to make a reality show? I am down. Yeah. <laughs> Skateboarding in the Olympics. Like, dude, I don't, it's so crazy because no one's talking about this. The only thing people are talking about are like, are you down for it or are you not down for it? Right. I don't care if you're down for it. That shit's already going through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> you better regardless. buckle yeah. Yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. better buckle up. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Right. <laughs> Straight up. And I can't wait to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, I, hold, I, I can make videos and movies and stuff. Anyone out there wants to do something, I'm down. Yeah. Ty's going to be the, the Olympic sellout. Cool. Sign me <laughs> up. Sign me up. My Amex would love it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I am down. Yeah. It's either me or some other dude that knows nothing about skating that's going to film it. There yep. you go. Would you film the Olympics? Fuck yeah. There you go. Yep. I'll this is and, our production team. Do you want to produce call, it? I'll commentate. Okay. Commentator. I'm the new Marv Albert. It's our host. A host. Yeah. We're in charge of the camera crew. Yep. What's Kelly doing? Kelly can do our Instagram. Do you, do you, do you know? <laughs> I'll laugh in the background or something. I want to see Ty's coverage, man. Maybe the Nine Club will send you out there. Dude, I, just I, 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 I just wish I had like slalom and downhill. 
Yeah. Would, I think it'd be kind of fun too. to like see like who's the fastest. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'm down. Let's go back to the most famous video <laughs> that you ever worked on. <laughs> Hot chocolate. <laughs> the, what was it I like mean, working with Chris Roberts? I mean, the Chris Man. Roberts part was definitely the highlight. <laughs> we have there. Oh, that's the from it. Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm affiliated. Sw- you're yeah. affiliated. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jordan okay. Jordan Block filmed it though. Okay. I don't know where you were that day. No, you were probably editing because that was the time when... Crunch time? Well, we were on tour for a month Mm -hmm. and then I think we had like another month to film after that while you were like putting it all together, you know. When you finish a video, you have stuff left over. Mm -hmm. And that's what Hot Chocolate was, was we had a bunch of stuff left over. Okay. From, yeah, right. Right. Let's go on a tour. Mm -hmm. Make a film about going on the tour. Use the leftover stuff and then whatever new stuff. Yeah. We didn't, I don't even think we talked about doing video parts, right? Oh, really? No, dude. It was just going to be like a tour video. Tour, right? Just get footage. And then we'll yeah. have footage. And then it totally was morphed into almost like this documentary yeah. and tour and dudes have video parts. It was cool. It, it, awesome. It, yeah. It, it was cool how it all just kind of figured itself out. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. And that was rad because... Spike was so involved on that one. He was in the van the whole... He was the yeah. first one to jump out of the van and start skating. And ripping. Like, yeah, yeah <laughs> ripping. How was it filming Chris back then? Uh, So during your right... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I'm going I'm to give this as an honest answer. Yeah, please. Please do. Please. During your right, there was a lot of people and we were still figuring out workflow. Mm-hmm. How to film, everything else. He was definitely one of the younger dudes that would always come out every day. Yeah. And then... Good show face. Yeah. yeah. But I think Robert's always... And I'm just being transparent of here. Of course. Robert's always had... He was going to go down to the beach and mm-hmm. skate or skate the courthouse. And that was your deal. That was my deal. Of course. Dude, when we put out Hot Chocolate, I was tripping on all the stuff he did. And that <laughs> was right when you got hooked up by audio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yep. I was like, "Yo, dude, shit's happening for this dude." Yeah, and dude, that trick right there was psycho. The switch yeah. flip, Manny. What a, yeah, <laughs> switch Manny, switch frontside three sixty shove. Yep, yep. So so good. Psycho. Yep, dude, you were on one. I know. You were on one. I know. Yeah. You were, you were that dude. I loved it. Yeah. What, well, happened? That was a, what, what happened? I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know, and that's the thing. Do you feel like you were at your prime right then? Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I was just not even, it was one of those things where, you know, when you're skating that, you, know, you don't even care. You're just yeah. skating and just nothing matters, you know? Yeah. But that's hey, awesome. You guys got to work together times. on that yeah, stuff. That's really dude. cool. We went on a bunch of tours together. Oh, what about uh, Fully Flared? Dude? Oh, that's right. We're Fully Flared. <laughs> During the Fully Flared years, me and Robert's kind of separated. We did. Yeah. He was yeah. doing his thing right. and I grabbed the dude's doing the shoe thing let me tell you man i was a little jealous you know it was yeah. a little i felt a little left out you know <laughs> felt a little i wasn't even invited to the explosion you know the Damn. big explosions that were going Damn. on you know what would you have done there i would have chilled and watched <laughs> what do you mean? come on bro i'd love to see yeah, you, you know what's interesting though is you're yeah. with all these dudes every day filming yeah right yeah or hot chocolate there you go and then it's like okay that's done next project Here's all these other new dudes that I'm yeah. with every day, and these other dudes I haven't talked to in a year. Huh? Not because I don't love you guys; it's because all right, this is who I'm doing the next yeah. project with. And we all we all get it, you know for sure. You know? And, and and then if we'd see each other, like, oh, when are you gonna get done? I can't wait to do yeah. the next project. Right. And remember, during Fully Flared was when Malta was starting to come around, Ooh. and it was pretty cool seeing Malta. Like, Did all right, Malta. I whenever I'd always see him, I'd be like, all right, get ready. Get ready. <laughs> and next. you know who else came was Divine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. During that time, I was like, all right, right. get ready. You're next. Yeah, yeah. So it it was interesting how all those divisions worked mm-hmm. when we were making those films and who we were around with yeah. and working with. But it just happens that way, you know. You're worried. It's, you have to focus on certain dudes, right? You got to do it's yeah. how it always was, even with transfer yeah. videos. Yeah. It's yeah. like you're with those dudes but, all day, every day, and then boom, next but, crew. But yeah. those dudes who are like want to get shit done and want to do stuff. <sighs> yeah. Explosions. I mean, epic video i got i got a good tidbit about the opening mm. so we were sitting in in uh where fu- we we're in china remember we went to china and it rained for like two weeks oh, straight the worst fucking, <laughs> I, and, and I think even, we went only, out there in like january not only rain it was freezing yeah brick i was in the van just bundled up 
I should have brought my snuggie. You weren't in third so, floor. <laughs> so my go-to roommate's always Jesus. I fucking yeah. love Jesus. <laughs> so me and Smoot are sitting there just fucking rooming. Mm -hmm. We call him Smoot. That's his dog. Smoot. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I forget how it came up. I think I was like watching Fully Flared on my laptop or something. This maybe a couple months after it came out. Mm. And then Jesus was next to me and he goes, Ty, it would have been cool to be in the intro. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at him I was like yeah it would have been sick to have you there yeah. and he kind of looked at me he's all <laughs> and I, was like, I was like wait a minute what the fuck I was like wait what does he mean what, it would have been cool to be in the intro so I was like start looking at the intro dude and I go through all the names dude his name is not in the intro no oh. and it hit me right then this oh, is like months after wow. fully, and you guys probably didn't realize it, right? No. no. Yeah, no one's ever said it to me or Lucas anything. Lucas and all those dudes and everybody's names. French there. connections in yeah. there. Really? Royal family. And in an earlier version of the edit that I made, Jesus's name was in there. I don't know how it slipped out. Oh, damn. And it, dude, that goes back to what I'm talking about, how like things happen when you're making a, a video yeah. and you don't realize shit, yeah. it. Yeah. And when you're making that master, you're like, okay, I hope I caught everything. Yeah. I hope whatever and it's like i hope there. i spelled yeah. everyone's name like dude there's so much stuff like that that can slip through the cracks like that right dude i forgot jesus's oh name in the God. intro Dang. and i still ah. i still don't know to this day because then i sat there and i was like is that what is he saying and it like the fear hit me like oh yeah. shit and i started scrubbing through it like dude his name better fucking pop up wow his name, i got to the end i was like oh my it's god and i was like close i was like your name's not in the intro. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. God. He's just like nodding with his little baby tooth. Right. Like. <laughs> and I was like, did you know? He goes, yes. <laughs> I go, when did you know? He goes, when I first sat. No. <laughs> and I was like, did you say anything to anyone? He goes, no, I thought you did not want my name in the, in the intro. No. And I was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> dude how could you not tell me dude like of course you'd be in the intro oh and he goes oh, I, I i did not know and i was like oh my i was like dude i'm so sorry man wow and it's like that type of stuff happens yeah and it takes someone as cool as jesus to like be like oh it's all good whatever yeah, yeah. you know and it's funny still it's game from today yeah yeah, yeah. But it's so funny. Someone from the outside could see that and spin it so crazy. Like, oh, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, I don't know. His name wasn't in the intro. I don't know if they're fucking with this dude or this and that. Or, oh, <laughs> little do they know, like, He's got a full I've part. been up for yeah. fucking a month straight and maybe that one slid through the cracks. Yeah. Like, Way too much Red Bull. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. But there's, like, every video has something like that. Something, right. Yeah. Like, Beeble's part in Fully Flare, the Jeezy song, he says, you can catch me in ATL. And he's doing uh, the nollie flip yeah. down, down the big <laughs> set. And I'm just, like, dying laughing at three in the morning by myself. <laughs> it's like, ah! this is amazing yeah, the cat, yeah, like yeah. dude there's shit like that i don't know do people catch it who knows but yeah. there's so much stuff like to me that, messages yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. did you buy him a coffee or something did you make it up to him yeah he's like stirring it yeah exactly <laughs> he stirs his Dang. coffee for like 10 minutes it's Dang. amazing do you like coffee <laughs> this is a spanish thing dude dude his part in the new look video was insane yeah dude he's still killing it yeah. always well dude I, I would when i would hear about fully flared trips because mm. i went to china like right after you guys did and then mm. anthony clairval was like dude the mission that ties on on these on these trips is gnarly it felt <laughs> okay let's clarify something that's so, a scary he wasn't saying anything bad, are all it was like it was like you're up by this time you're out and we're fucking we're doing things the other videos were definitely mellow mm -hmm. yeah right was mellow it got hard towards the end uh Hot chocolate was pretty mellow. Yeah. Fully flared had a lot riding on it. I mean, there's so many goddamn factors with that thing. Mm -hmm. Whether it be Eric getting on, whether it be Guy getting on, whether it be it Mark's like the insane. Of guy. Yeah. Mark's insane mm -hmm. 15 minute footage. Like, yeah. <laughs> all those dudes, to me, it felt very powerful how good all those dudes were to come together being that they weren't on a board company mm -hmm. like okay this is all these dudes that are insane coming together to make this film and so 
it definitely was riding on me that I wanted to make that thing as good as possible. Mm -hmm. Then you have so many other factors of like bringing in the new HD camera and how does that get integrated? And originally I was like, I don't know, we'll make a Blu-ray out of this thing. So so dudes were like, well, am I filming for the fucking Blu-ray or am I filming for fucking fully flare? Yeah. Which camera are you bringing out? So that started turning into an issue. Oh, yeah. So there was so many things riding on that that I think I got spun out, everyone got spun out. We all knew we were gonna get spun out and the whole, the whole bitch got spun yeah. out. <laughs> but at the end of the day, yeah. I think the film was fucking amazing oh, well, and I wouldn't well, change yeah. a thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. except Jesus' name. Except Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> it was very challenging, yeah. you know? And, and in the same way the last film I made was a lot on my shoulders, I felt there was a lot on my shoulders for that thing too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was heavy. I mean, even Mike Mo coming out in that video yeah. too. Yeah. Like, yeah. And yeah. he was, he said he was surprised. He didn't know he was going to have a like first part in the video. Dude, he was 15. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> when I first went out with him, he was 15. That's insane. So and he nice. frontside nollie flipped a three flat three. And I was like, whoa. Like stomped Mike Mo style. Damn. Wow. That experience was, it was hard, man. Yeah. And I think if there was one thing I had to narrow it down to, it was obviously Guy coming back and mm -hmm. like, okay. If this dude's a part of this thing, I've always had the utmost respect for Guy and the way he came back and how much effort. Like, he always talks about, like, oh, I was only going to do this and that. Yeah. And it's true. Like, he was going to film a couple tricks. And then we were driving up to, I think it was like Oxnard. And he was asking, like, oh, when's the video going to come out? I'm going to have a couple tricks. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to put it out till you have a part. <laughs> I swear to God, you could have heard a pin drop, and I was just doing like eighty down the freeway <laughs> match, and he just rolls the window down. That was his response. Like, <laughs> but I mean, dude, it's not like, of course I was gonna push that. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? He's yeah. back and ripping. He's one of the best skateboarders in the world. I'm the biggest fan. Yeah. I mean, when I started working for a girl, that was the one thing. Was like, dude, it'd be insane to do a part with him. Yeah. And when I met him previously. I think his head was really cloudy with everything going on. And when he came back for fully flared, it was such a different person. He mm -hmm. was so genuine and cool. And like, I had such meaningful conversations with him where I was like, dude, this dude is like coming back, not only in skating, but like just in life. Yeah. Yeah. It was heavy. It was heavy. Yeah. And, and I knew that it was going to be something monumental and right. i wanted to put in as much as i could and i think that definitely spurred a lot of the like everyone else wanted to put in that much to it yeah and, damn that was a pretty big tailspin for, <laughs> for, for everyone yeah but i would like i said i wouldn't change a thing dude that right. film was psycho for when it came out yeah, yeah. yeah dude you that know? was like yeah. emotional i mean for guy and mark's part at the end I'm, those guys had to be emotional about their parts at the end of that video oh dude i mean guy for sure yeah 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 i heard i didn't i wasn't able to make that premiere but i heard like people were like crying for guy's part after guy's part <laughs> when when i showed it to people like some some of the guys came by the house to look at the edit after i was done and it, yeah for sure there was oh, dudes man. crying. That's, it was heavy. Thank you for making all these awesome videos, dude. Yeah, okay. Seriously amazing. I just feel so thankful to even be able to be in the position to do them, man. Because I, I don't know. I feel it's still a trip to me. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. I mean, dude, you just finished The Flat Earth, which is coming out tonight on <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> and pro, in, pro. It's fucking... No, but I'm, what I'm saying is like, it, it, we watched it today. Uh -huh. And I want to watch it again. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy yeah. it. How much is it? Twelve ninety nine. Do you have a discount code? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> we went on this trip. Yeah, it was called the last bracket trip. Okay. You know what the last bracket is, Robert? I the la I'm assume it's the last hurrah. Roger. Of the fucking Roger knows the last bracket. I've been on the last bracket. The last bracket. You have a timeline. Okay. Here's your good stuff. Here's your better. Mm -hmm. Here's your best. Got you. Your tricks, that's how you organize your tricks, right? Okay. Your tricks in the best Yeah. is the last bracket. Okay. <laughs> okay. The last bracket. The last right. bracket. So now we're going out to get the last bracket. We went on the last Put bracket it. tour, which is right. basically the last trip. <laughs> it is go time. Yeah. You're getting broken. Don't fuck Bas around. Basically, right. every trick on that trip is going into that last, bra yeah. last bracket. Wow. Hopefully. 
Yeah, it pretty much did, dude. That trip yeah. was insane. If you uh, the film comes with the whole forty five minute behind the scenes, mm-hmm. which we haven't watched in, yet yeah. in four K. Oh, in four K. Uh, iTunes extra behind the scenes. There's a whole segment on the last bracket oh, tour. Oh, sick. But anyways, I came back from the last bracket tour. Yeah. I sat down in front of my computer, and three months later, I'm here. Three, three. <laughs> that's it. Yep. Yep. That's that's the editing process. But. I had six workstations set up in a room about as big as this. Half the size of this. <laughs> yeah. Two 12 core Mac Pros, one 8 core Mac Pro, one of the most high end MacBook there is right now, uh, one of the most high end iMac, like all the most insane processing power, and we still couldn't spit the damn bitch out of the computer. Really? It kept crashing. I have one drive networked over to everyone and we were sharing the same drive all editing like okay i'm doing this dude's intro boom Do you spit think it, it was over like, you're sharing the same drive huh Do you think like it crashed because you're sharing the same drive no 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 i'm, I'm talking like just spitting out of the one the 12 core by itself out of the media it still wouldn't be able to yeah, spit the it out or whatever yeah yeah no it, it wasn't the sharing it was it just Couldn't between it. it had to process all the effects mm-hmm. take, it all. take 6k yeah. down res to 4k with the color on top of it mm-hmm. and spit that out to ProRes 444 four, four, or Quad 4, whatever you want to call it. You got that, Roberts? <laughs> I, I just... 2398 UHD. I got it all right here. Yep, you got <laughs> it all, all right Apple here. ProRes? You, yeah, man. It was like we maxed those bitches out and they still couldn't spit it out with Jeez. the effects we were doing on it. So what did they you do? Pretty, yeah. <laughs> spit out little pieces <laughs> that it, it could let us do, then take that little piece, put it spit out another little piece butt it up just and then you make them. the segment oh and then you would spit out the segment and then bring that into your timeline now you Jeez. have the master segment wow oh my but gosh. if you need to go back and like fix something mm. you know talk about missing a jesus title like <laughs> yeah. you better not miss something if you're going back in there you are donezo god damn so how long did it take for it to export and then to, to get the final thing out there i mean i think we spent a week Jesus. Once it was locked, just trying to get it out of the computer Jesus over the course Christ. of a week, you know, but then there's still like, oh, we're fixing this and patching this and doing color on this. And it was like, like I said, I had six dudes in there and we were all just working like a machine, like, boom, here's this dude's part. You do a pass on sound, send it back to me. Okay. Now I'm doing a pass on sound, send it back to him. Now he does another pass on sound. So you're Damn. like going back and then here's a first pass of color my buddy clay did all the color and then look at it like all right let's do a second pass now and go back and it was like oh my god just, it was <laughs> just heavy you can, like dude. crazy in color it was heavy how do you keep track of everything yeah you just cross I mean, what, the, the video the, <laughs> hope you do what, man what, the video is like what 50 minutes 50, 52 52 minutes but this is what's crazy man is the day it was due Never i was trying first. to spit out the bonus features Mm -hmm. which were done and i opened up the final timeline with all the bonus stuff and there was a bunch of clips that were black and i started spinning myself out so crazy thinking that the drive was going bad and starting to air out and i'm like oh my god the drives why are these clips black this and that and then I hadn't backed it up and I, I've never had a nervous breakdown, but like, <laughs> I think this is what a nervous breakdown is. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was like physically shaking. It was totally warm and it was like, I was freezing Wow. and my voice was like chattering and I couldn't think straight. And I was like, oh my God, I'm losing the video. I've never, ever felt like that. It was so scary feeling. I was like, yeah, that's a nervous breakdown, right? I mean, it sounds And it's because close, the yeah. lights were offline. Yeah, you knew the story. Yeah, but the <laughs> of course, Roger the LUTs would like the lookup table is where you set the color on the clip was assigned from one computer, and we were all sharing everything onto one drive where the LUTs were, and it got confused, and the clips were coming to this black. But in my head, I'm like, oh, the clips are coming up offline, like the drive's going bad. Uh, Fully spun myself out, where it's like, bro, chill out. So all you needed to do was replace the LUT. Yes. And that's what that we figured it. out after like six hours, dude. Seriously, it took I, that long. I don't know how many years that took off my life, but at that point, <laughs> wow. there was a, probably a good. Was there's it? probably a good five hours that I really thought the drives were going bad, and I was going to lose the whole video wow. and the whole deal. Even though I have it RAID five and backed up on these other ones, like I still like I had it was a little more complicated. But was it dude that did, that applied the lights not in the room when all that happened? So. 
Clay, who was originally doing the LUTs, he went to sleep and someone else tagged in mm. and he applied the LUTs. You can apply it on the master file, mm -hmm. which goes universally throughout your whole, whole project. Yep, yep. So let's say you have an interview yeah. and you apply it on the master file of the interview. And if that interview pops up 10 times, it's going to apply. It's going to yeah. apply it. Yeah. Or you can do it. I forget what the proper name is, singular of, yeah. of that selected clip. Mm. And I think he had done master and then as he, he kept going, he would change it and maybe not realizing that it's affecting yeah. the previous ones. And the problem and with doing the master is if you, if you change your exposure or anything else. Totally. Or if you change For a different balance, one, it yeah. would be different. Yeah, if you, if you didn't But we recording. didn't realize that. Yeah. They were just coming up black and I was like, oh my God, the drive's going and later, spin out. Wow. So and, and, I was... Bun. And you needed to finish that day because I had you had to, to submit it to um, iTunes. Yeah, right. yeah. It was it was heavy. It was I, there was probably a good I don't know four or five hours where I thought like the drive was going bad, and I was like, "Well, do I back up the drive?" But in order to back up the drive, I need to pull them do out I of the kill chassis. Myself right now? Jesus. I mean, <laughs> it was listen, crazy. Man, I, I get pissed at Raj when something's out of sync. You yeah. know, when the audio's out of sync. I'm your like calling Roger. Offline? Yeah, I'm calling Roger up. Like, I this guy this shifted something. Sync, sync this fucking thing up. After going above and beyond with just like cameras and technology and whatever else, uh. do you ever like want to just go back to a VX1000? I love current day VX1000. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it's my place. Yeah. Like Penny that does all the sabotage stuff in Philly yeah. kills it. Yeah. Yeah. Magenta dudes. Mm. GX. They crush it. Yeah. Dude, all that stuff is so dope. And then all the stuff that Palace does with the VHS stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm so out of it. I don't even really know a lot of those dudes. I met Penny. He's hella cool. And I fucking love all that shit. And I think kids today are probably like, oh, those dudes versus Tyus and that, like, I fucking love those dudes shit. And yeah. I think it's so dope that those dudes are still carrying it on. Yeah. yeah. And if anything, they're doing it better than I ever did, so why the hell would I even need to do it? <laughs> like, those dudes yeah. are crushing. Like, yeah. Sabotage 5, that video is so good. Yeah. The bus at the end, front side flip over the blood, good. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I still love all that stuff. I just, I mean, dude, no one wants me filming that shit. Yeah, right, dude. Bullshit. You're, yeah. I mean, you're I, well, I, Regardless, like, I don't even think I could do it as good as those dudes anymore. Anyways, so, like, those dudes are killing it. And it's, like, their own aesthetic. No, but still, the creativity that you apply to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, there's different... Bringing in and do, like, Johannes Campbell or whatever else. Yeah, yeah. there's just different projects where I, I think certain aesthetics suit mm -hmm. the project. You know? I don't know. I think if anything, if if I was doing something like that, that would just be like, oh, what was this dude doing? He's trying to do what these other dudes are doing now. Like, I don't even feel like it's my place to even do that. Those dudes got it. Yeah. Dialed. Yeah. yeah. Your video just stands out, and it, it's just it's different. I mean, different. I think, I think there's that's what's always been so cool about skating. There's like, if you like the way, like Bill does amazing stuff and mm -hmm. i think going back to like capturing other stuff besides skating he yeah. captures so much dope shit he yeah. kept real life yeah yeah, yeah. and it, fucking beagle holy yeah. shit yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. everyone yeah. has yeah. their own thing and Absolutely. i think when someone is gonna buy one of my films they know what the fuck they're getting yeah. into yeah you for know? sure totally and and that's what i was trying to say is i would hope i've put so much time into skateboarding that people would at least buy this film and yeah i don't know we'll, I, we'll hey, see how I, it goes i, I think Every, I think you're gonna kill it, bro. Yeah. I think people are gonna buy the shit out of Thanks, it. Thanks, Robert. Can you buy like yeah. 20 copies? Well, you said you're gonna give me my discount code. So uh, yeah. After you buy 20. <laughs> oh, after, oh, 20, and then I get the discount. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give you the bonus for free. Yeah. Bonus. Nice. Is that extra or is that free? Is that it come comes, with the package? It comes with it. iTunes extra. Comes with comes with 45 minute bonus feature behind the scenes. Okay. 15 minute all about all the crazy gear. Wow. Director's commentary. Oh, you which I was so spun out by the time I did that. Please disregard you anything I said in there because I have no idea what okay. I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, and a photo gallery. Sick. And the film. Wow. Is it going to be a hard copy? I would love to do a hard copy, but I am broke. <laughs> <laughs> I am broke. Uh, and you know what's crazy is I hit up a couple different distributors and was like putting the feelers out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one was even biting. Yeah. Mm. Like I think... The writing could be on the wall for the hard copies, man. Well, I mean, when's the yeah. last time? I love, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I would love to make a hard copy of this thing. I just 
financial like do i just chalk that up to even more money in debt at this point i don't know but it's i haven't like, put a i haven't put a video in forever when's the last yeah. film whether it be a escape video or a documentary or a movie physical copy that you bought that I you can even remember years yeah I don't Years. know. I don't remember the last time I bought one. I don't even really remember the last time I put one in a, in a DVD. I think it okay, f- f- last f- video f- I put in a DVD yeah. that you <laughs> bought yeah, because I don't know. I'm not trying to give away DV- like yeah. videos for free. Yeah, I know, I know. Like I'm just you saying bought. either. Yeah, you. Years. Baby Hot Chocolate Tour. <laughs> <laughs> you. I, I think the last video I popped in was like fully flared. Yeah, that's I'm, that's probably the last. No, one, to be honest. I'm not talking like an old video you popped. But no, but I mean, I'm saying bought, purchased. I mean, girl box it. I've or been, I've been getting free shit for years. So okay, so not skate videos like a movie or or okay. Let me flip this. When's the last CD that you bought? It's been years. Yeah, I sure. bought uh, Mr. Dibs CD he off did. of the secret tape. Yeah. It was a alien workshop, the Habitat section. Kelly, you rule. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a rad answer. Yeah. That, was, that was probably the best answer we could ask for. <laughs> that was really good. Mr. Dib CD. Yeah. That's who did all the music in Habitat, right? Yep. Yeah. I bought yep. that. That's, that's probably the, the best one. purchase yeah. you could have bought. Too. It is. It's in my car. I leave it in the CD. In the, in the we, CD we got place. Sickhead, too. Mm-hmm. You didn't buy that. But you didn't no, buy I mean, it. we yeah. didn't buy it, but we got it. When I actually popped cool. It. Did you yeah. buy it? No. I mean, dude, I haven't <laughs> bought a CD probably in 10 years yeah i because think about it ipod was about 10 10 years years ago yeah and then the last thing i bought was like a 3d blu-ray when i got a 3d tv and wanted to watch Mm, something in 3d right and you're over it (laughs) yeah i was over it (laughs) (laughs) that's it dude i think i don't know man i I think the i mean like you said the writing's on the wall right but that's what's great is at least you know? everything's starting to be in order now like you can make a f- 4k mastered film and get it to a 4k tv yeah. here, here in this house yeah. right you know with 4k apple tv or, it, yeah. or all the tvs now are smart tvs with like the vimeo app and you can get 4k vimeo that's and true everything yeah. else or amazon listen dude we could sit here all fucking night man. Mm. this has been mm. amazing dude we should wrap it up though let's wrap it up the flat earth flat earth go buy it 12.99 you said I believe so. Twelve ninety nine, <laughs> something like that. So iTunes in digital download. Yep. Yep. At the finer, flatter. finer download services near you. Wherever finer downloads are uh, are downloaded. If you have yeah. a four K TV. Oh yeah. Four K Apple TV. Yep. Get your K on. Ty, dude, thank you so much for stopping by, dude. Thanks for having me. You're the man. Yeah, you're Ty. Um, Thanks, bud. Dude, the flat Earth. Go buy it. Yeah. Go buy it. Four K. You won't be bummed. Nine Club. Edit me, Roger, Chomp Kelly. Two. We need some other people in there, though. You know <laughs> Should we get we Beeble in there? Murder. Beeble. Beeble. Teebs. Atiba. This could be like, this could be the Chomp. Chomp 2, revival. dude. This could be it. What the fuck? Chomp you know? 2. How bad is the ankle? The ankle's dusted. Is it really? I haven't done a flip trick in like years even after the surgeries and everything mm. they can't uh, i could do like a pretty mobbed out fakie flip okay it's like a fakie ollie donkey kick <laughs> <laughs> how about mini ramp i mean maybe like a 50 or scratch it's dude it's done you know technology dude you could have a new ankle i mean they're putting on heads you know the guy I've did you see that. the guys yeah. the, they're doing a head transplant yeah in China. what yeah I, I want the ankle transplant man i'll be the first bro if they could put a fucking head on somebody yeah. Right, why not How the an ankle? fuck are you doing a head? What the hell's that? You could live forever, dude. They could put my head on a, you know, a, a younger body. body. And you still keep the same fucking... Yeah, it's my head. Can you keep your memories? Yeah, it's a head. You... Dude, but it's like... Kelly doesn't, he can't comprehend <laughs> putting another can... head, putting a head on another body. Dude, can you comprehend putting another head on another body? Yeah, oh, there's like, a it's... body there. They chop that head off. They cut my... And people and do they... this all the time, like it's a proven no. thing. No, That's no, this is the first one. I've seen the, one. F- the face transplant. The face transplant. That one's seen that insane. Too. Yeah. It's a good movie. The face off? It's nuts. It's face yeah, off. it's, it's yeah. like face off, but like the real deal. Anyway, ankle <laughs> transplant, chomp two. We're good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.